so we so we're, we some, weren't serious about that. Clear off a lot of stuff. Leave a five one. Hold on, which corner be evil? They could be good, right? Or neutral, whatever. What? Witches. Yeah, no, they 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 don't have an alignment tie. It could be any they alignment, be, right? Yeah, they could be any alignment. But since we were talking about having like a darker campaign at the time, I was like, well, lawful well, evil fits the character that. I want to create. I don't know. I don't know if you making an evil character will work out in this campaign, but you could still cast that evil spell. It'll make an interesting role play. That's for sure. When my character sees that shit, like, whoa, <laughs> <laughs> you know, it'll, it'll make some epic role play. Did you just eat a person? You know, <laughs> <laughs> you know just put them to but, sleep. Uh, they yeah. wake up in a cauldron. I cast cook people. They turn <laughs> into a meat pie. I get hourly bonuses. Just eat this I, don't know, I saw some fucking shit from a, for good characters where you where you eat like the heart of an angel, but it was for like right. It was for like a good character. It was like a, for a good archetype or some crazy shit like that. I'm like, what? Uh, How the fuck? But like, it's I not. Don't know. It, 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 it's not like you. Was it eat the heart of an angel? It was eat the eat Are something? You sure, man. Yes. <laughs> I was looking at that and I was reading it. I'm like, I'm like, how the fuck is this a good act? I'm like, you gain this power or something, but it's like, it's, it, it can't. Oh, be, I'm like, it's like, that. It can't be like, like a Uchiha. Uchiha. killed or anything. Like one that's already dead. And then, I gotta find it. It was oh, weird as no, hell. Man. I was like, that sounds necromantic and evil as fuck. That's what I. Said. Maybe you guys, need, maybe you guys need to get over the necromancy. Was it enemy's heart? No, it wasn't enemy's heart. This name was spell. <laughs> there it is. Celestial blood. It was a rage power. Hey guys, you guys hungry? Let's do it. <laughs> it just has to be intelligent. Feast of blood. It's a supernatural. What's bloody fist? No bloody fist rage power. It's for level fourteen barbarian. It's a fourteen barbarian rage power. <laughs> no, that's not it. Where's the one with the celestial? It was some weird shit. I was like, what the fuck. Damn, I can't even find it. I don't even know what it's called anymore, but anyway. It was just it was just fucking weird. I was like, how is this like for good characters? Yeah, I think so. I don't know. Still doing downtime. <laughs> mm, I don't know, man. This is rough. That's a hard choice. What? I don't know. I'll probably go with Sion, but then we got fucking Devil Witch over here. I'm actually. I'm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm genuinely considering being a leyline guardian now. The archetype I think I like there at the most. A leyline guardian. Yeah, it's a witch archetype.
Yeah, it turns it turns me into a, a spontaneous caster. So, also. Knee drama. <laughs> right now. Lewis, can you hear us? I'm listening. I'm just reading with the post. Can, can Watson hear us, Lewis? Yeah, I can hear you. Can you hear Watson? There we go. Oh. Yeah, he has his own mic, so it's going to be easier to be. Lewis, can you hear Pachardo or not? Can I hear Pachardo? I can hear you. You're right, I can't hear Pachardo. Yeah, they can't hear you, Pachardo, that's why. You're on, I'm sweating down here. Come on. Use extra blankets. Uh, <laughs> it's like, I can hear you. Uh, yeah, we hear you, but they don't. Don't put it up too high, because I'm already sweating, and it's the basement I'm sweating. How you sweat in the basement? I, I I hate the heat. My body just it could be sixty five and I'm freaking sweating. My ideal temperature is like fifty five sixty. Like just a not cold, but just like a slight. Change. No, I, I think it's just system. them. I think it's just them. No. No, they would never meet you. Yeah, I can game. hear Antonio and Darren just fine. Darren can hear me yeah. and Antonio. Hey, we, they hear you talking, but you just don't hear Petrano talking. Right? He's talking right now. You don't hear him? No. I don't hear him. Is it? They said reset your stuff, Lewis. <laughs> Lewis said, what the fuck, I'm going to start on my shit. This shit work fine. I got a new computer. <laughs> Talk now. Hello? Well, now I hear you. Do you hear me? Yeah, yeah it, it was, was on him. your end. Yeah. Yep, it was on your end. Because I already computer. reset of mine. And I'm still calling me here Antonio and Darren only, not you. So you got a new computer. What's going on? Right. <laughs> hey, all I had to do was click the reconnect button. And right. it worked. Like my other I'm still computer. using my old computer. I'm still using my old computer. Right. You know what? You know what happened? What? The battery went. I tried everything. I thought my computer broke. It was that the battery was dead. I guess I didn't yeah, charge it. So I left the charger. Damn. Damn. What? That's some lucky shit right there. So you pressing the power button like, damn. And then you connected to a power source? Bro, bro. But I charged it and it wasn't working. I guess I was reading online that these computers, if you let it go like dead, dead, like 0%, is like, even if you put it on charge for a little bit, it's like dead. I yeah, took this to computer. It takes a while. Yeah. Bro, I'm glad I didn't fuck this computer up because I took it apart myself and was checking stuff. I tried every, Dang, you know, stuff you could This guy took it apart. Yeah. I was going to take it to the Apple store. I just, like, I just canceled my Apple store appointment on, on Friday. Like, 30 <laughs> they would have been like, oh. uh, did you realize your battery was yeah, dead? That would have been embarrassing. They'd have been like... <laughs> I know. Yeah. That would have been officially your, your first old moment. moment. I know, man. That sucked. <laughs> but the thing is, the day before, I dropped the computer, so I thought it was that. I was like, oh, crap. You know, I guess these computers are more resilient than I thought. I really thought it was that. Ah, man, I dropped this computer. I fucked it up. But anyway, let me not jinx myself. I, I want this computer got to last me another two years. Meanwhile, we got a Dell over here that worked. Has been working since the Bushes were in office. <laughs> That's yours. That's Jerica. She got an old Dell that she's had since her junior year of high school. Works perfectly. Wow. 
Well, you know what it is that I don't know how she's that's not, possible with all the like, not, it is it's crazy. Half the screen is broken. You can see kind of, that. With the, with the kind of you know what? power that you need for everything that no, it, it's, it's running like us. We be going to porn site and all that shit and fuck up our computers. You know that what thing doing? is running first edition Windows Vista. That's how old that shit is. This oh, I never liked Vista. That, that was terrible. It was a terrible operating system. How much yeah, RAM yeah. She, how much RAM, RAM <laughs> computer? <laughs> uh, she couldn't run Google Chrome. That can give you an idea of how much well, RAM that thing got. I don't think Google Chrome existed back then. She said, "That's not true." <laughs> oh man, that Wait, is you can't true. Run Google Chrome on it, but it's working no, perfectly. It works fine, like perfectly. It can I mean, turn I mean, on. My laptop's still working fine too. It just can't do shit on the internet. Like, <laughs> I can watch videos on it. Like it, it, man, it. Wow, it, it makes a good. And point. I've gone through two computers since she's gotten that one. Well, you know. I don't know what kind of hardware they put in there. They probably put some kind of prototype in there. That's like, why your computer is. What is that prototype we were working on? I don't know. <laughs> they left that shit in some consumer. <laughs> <laughs> she got some fucking high tech. She got, what was it, 2009? They put yeah, I was 2019 in there, is what they did. Oh, yeah. 08. 08. 08. They put some 2015 oh. shit in there. And forgot about it. They were like, oh shit, we weren't supposed to release this. Like, every time I have a computer problem, I just turn that thing back on and just call it a day. That's the worst, though. Let's not go. What are you talking about? I thought we were, um, I thought we were. What do you mean it goes? It's it's we're downtime. I'm gonna go contact the Church of Gold. Go, Master. Let's go. Contact. Let's go. Let's go. Hold on. Hold on. Let's go. All right. I'm I'm taking off. I gotta take off some cash. I'm gonna go contact the Church of Gold. I'm gonna establish a. This nigga ain't even come visit me. Fuck you, my nigga. You good? No, no, you're right. I told you, I'm like that nigga Raphael. That's what I'm saying. Like, when you get up, I'm going to have a beer waiting for you. Like, took you long enough. Like, like, I'm, in the, I'm like Raphael in the tub. Ninja Turtles 1, dude. <laughs> <laughs> you never went on the roof by yourself. Yeah, no, niggas is whipping my ass. <laughs> you say shouldn't have. With your brothers, no. I was with y'all, nigga. You, you was in, the, you was stuck in the pit, swimming in acid. Now I'm talking about if you calling yourself Raphael. Oh, uh, all right. He went on the top by himself. Well, I kind of did go to the tree by myself. <laughs> fuck you guys, then. Went on top of the roof. Yeah, they fuck Raphael they up too. Fucking ninja spins and punch the wall and shit. Fuck the bottom, nigga. Like there he is by himself. Let's get his ass. Fuck that nigga up on the roof. By the way, at any moment he could have ran away, went downstairs, like yo, God, gonna be a jump out of hand. No. Nigga Rav had to find him by himself. Next scene is <laughs> that nigga through the top of that skyline, right there the roof. Blow! Do the nigga through his shit there, like, oh shit, Rav. <laughs> you got <it>. Yo. <laughs> he you, came through the skyline, all that goddamn glass laying on the ground, <laughs> fucked up. My story is rough. Uh, you guys remember that time when we got ambushed in that bar? In Cauldron, where where Bilbo Baggins was with the guns, this guy oh, messed yeah. with. This guy messed with was like a hundred miles away in some mountain meditating. <laughs> yeah. and he's he like so much. He had a dimension door the whole way back, trying to catch up. <laughs> he, was, yeah, yeah. he had a dimension door the whole way. Back. <laughs> no, I don't even think that's how he got back. Was it? Yeah, that's how exactly he got back. <laughs> Like it came out of the portal confused and dazed, son. <laughs> Dimension hopping to get back, son. Yeah, but see, look, stuff like that gives <laughs> y'all a story. Wait, 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 how far are you outside called in the mountains these days? Five miles. Some crazy shit like that. Some miles. Some miles. <laughs> I'm like, hey, well then. When there was intel that we were gonna get hit or something, you know, this guy's like gone. <laughs> Imagine that he got ambushed by all those people out there. He would have been. They knew better. You know he ain't gonna burn those dimension doors and run away. He gonna stay there and fight and get freed up. Yeah, he would have stayed there and fight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
I hear that echo again when Matt talks at Lewis. I think he's just talking close to my mic. Because he's actually, that's the case. So, is yeah. that better? That should be better, right? I'm going to be taking me on my Because he has his own mic, but he's also near mine. So, it's, he's talking in both mics. When you talk, it doesn't sound like you're echoing, though. I'm going to talk. So, when, when you talk, is no, when you talk is good. Oh, when Matt talks, it's like an echo. Yeah, it, like I, I was saying, he has a he has a mic next to him. His voice is traveling to both mics. Yeah, but his voice is traveling to the mic on my laptop, so it's catching both both mics are being caught. Oh, but I just I moved away. I was too close. I moved, I moved I help out. I moved. We'll make do with what we have. Um. All right. <laughs> oh. 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 All right, Mr. Watt provided the resources for Claudius to. Um, I did. Just, yeah, just yeah. Took him. Oh, said. yeah. You took him from reality. I'm not going to ask him. I'm going to take him because he already told me this before that he wanted that done. That's what I was saying. Because oh, I was like, yeah, I was like, like I'm going to the And then I remember Darren going, oh, I'll just give it him from what I got since it's for me anyway. So I was like, okay. First of all, I'm laboring for 38 days. And then I, you expect me to spend my money too, man? It's free work, free labor. Thirty eight. I'm your son, dog. I thought you was about to take care of me, dude. Of course, I'm, of course you're my son, man. That's why I'm doing it for free. I'm not charging you. Damn, it's but that's 30, that's thirty eight days that I don't get to create my own spell. Oh, Louis, by the way, for the record, Claudia's been working on his own unique spells. I'm, I'm you know, out of character, there's three spells I've been working on that I'm unique spells that I'm creating. More uh, Claudius yeah. this conjunction. Yeah, Claudius this, Claudius that. Even if I never get to see it in gameplay, but at least so I could add it to your lore. So Claudius has his own unique spells out there that PCs can take. I want to see more than, I mean, Claudius this conjunction. I've been working so on the spells out there. I, <laughs> I, gotta, I gotta see what these do. Yeah. It might, it might already have been made, but... <laughs> it, it, uh, Claudius it, has I, a... Actually, Lou, actually, Lou, one is that spell that I chose, Dimensional Lock. I actually was working on a spell that is very similar to that one. I'm like, oh, what the <laughs> Dimensional Lock already exists. So then I had to scratch that idea. <laughs> but I was working on a spell similar to that one, the level 8 spell, Dimensional Lock. Yeah, uh, Claudius kind of spell would be like, person is... Things they're spinning, and, and it would like take over a person's eyes, and they would be thinking like, "All right, for every low bill, the low bills, right, are really the high bills, and they're just spending the high bills and saying, oh, keep the change. I can't believe this is a dollar.' Unless he's a guy, level. you know, you know, one spell I was working on, Claudius Illusory Pitfall, almost like similar to like the Hungry Pit that he's used for knowing, but you know, like the wall. I mean, mm -hmm. the floor, it'll look the same. You know, it's almost like an illusion. You know, so pe even though he casts a spell, people will, will be none the wiser. They'll walk to it, and they could, like, fall through. That's one. Oh, What's another? The, um, illusory pit. It's like, a, I, right. it's, like, it's like a mix between... Illusory pit and hungry pit, yeah. And hungry pit, yeah. And, and one of the pit spells. Yeah, I'm making that, like, a level seven spell. You know, but, but since it's a since it's a much higher level spell, the radius of the pit will be a little bigger. Maybe I don't know. What do you think? Maybe like a what level is hungry pit? This could be easy. Hungry pit is ten foot square. So I was thinking something what, maybe like twenty foot. Square. What's spell level? On it? Oh, a hungry pit is level five. Level 
five and two. If it was five, um, you don't need to make it seven, you can make it six. Oh, yeah, oh, if, and Lewis, a hungry pit with an illusion. If it's just illusory, right. hungry pit, then ah, uh, and, and Lewis, check out this spell. I'm gonna send that. I'm a, it's a prototype, so don't mind the grammar and stuff. You can look at it also, Watson. Look, this is a prototype I've been working on, also, it's called Claudius. Protective Sanctuary. It's an abjuration evocation spell. It creates a... Yeah, well, read it, yeah. It creates a 10, 20, or 40-foot radius wall of force like sphere center on the spellcaster. The, the sphere also blocks any attempt of entry by any creature with the borrowing movement. So on the ground, people can't just, like, try and cheese. The spell prevents... <laughs> evil yeah, the spell prevents evil outsiders, undead, and dragons from teleporting inside the sphere. Very good spell against basically when you're plane hopping and shit like that, or you know, or, or outsiders. A regular uh, human wizard. For the uh, for the radius, um, why don't you just have it where it scales instead of putting ten, twenty, or forty? Well, let's put it this way: like, let's say like we're being like bomb us the vindicators. We're about to get attacked or whatever by all these creatures, right? It's almost like a protective field against around us. Right. So I guess if we had like a larger army, let's say like the Latinum's army, I guess I could see where you're coming from, making like a big feel, a temporary, like almost like a medical Maybe hospital. 10, 20, or 40, usually whenever they have like uh, areas of, of effects, they have it where it's uh -huh. like, they'll have it where it, it's, it, it, it's within a certain range. So it's going to be short. Oh, like have it for you? Like the number is static. And then... If it's not static, it starts off with us with a base number, and then it goes up based on how many levels you have, so it's scale. Because when you use like like a set, like multiple static numbers, like 10, 20, or 40, they get, uh -huh. it's kind of, it works at lower level, but then you get to a certain level where it's limiting, and right. it's, not, it's not really balanced at that particular <laughs> level. La, 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 yeah, la, scales, then it's a balance throughout the entire level. Yes, that's why I wanted to bring this to you guys' attention, to you and Lewis, to help me out. Because right. this is just this like a first draft. It's not the second or final draft yet. So anything, any constructive criticism, I'm receptive to. I could figure that out. For its ability, for a seventh level spell, I think that it works only because like you have a specific type that it works against. Which is outsiders, right. undead, and dragons. So that means anything outside of those subtypes will still be able to work. Right. A regular human or elf that can still teleport in. Right. You know? Okay. It's, but you know the you know the nature of our business, the vindicators. We we're finding a lot of freaking But then and you gotta be more specific too, where like so does uh -huh. that mean if 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 a, if a creature were to shape change, uh -huh. still, would they be able to cross the barrier then? It's the spell that's them change their creature type. Yeah. Well, I'm not too familiar with a lot of wizard spells that specifically target only undead right. or evil outsiders. Right. That that's sounds like new. a that sounds like a cleric thing. Right, it's a pretty new thing. Now, there's a lot of cleric spells that do that. Yeah. It'd be like no dragons, no undead, no evil outsiders. I don't. I'm not saying there aren't wizard spells that do that. It might be. I can't recall. Well, that's, that's why. That's why I included the abjuration, you know, subtype there. The abjuration school, because right. abjuration usually has to do with undead and outsiders. I know wizards have like and evocation. A creature type, like hide from dragon. I've seen that. Hide from undead. I think they get that too. But yeah, the, I guess it would just be the. Uh, the uh, the range scaling, I would say it would start at 
10 feet, and then you can add 5 feet every two levels. So eventually our high level will be big enough to accommodate, you know, a big group. But at low levels, right. we'll be able to throw up something big enough to accommodate. Okay, I see what you're saying. You can always choose to make it smaller than the max size you can do. Right. Because I know what else you can do that. So 10 feet plus 5 feet for 2 levels would be good. Do they have a spell? I'm looking at it right now. He wants a wall of force. Because if it's... But it's a force. If it's 5 feet every 2 levels, then it would be 5 times 10, which would be 50. So that means mm -hmm. at level 20, you'd be able to make a 60-foot radius wall of force, which is fair if you're level 20. Cast on some level spell. A 50 foot radius? But with the option to make it smaller, because what if I want to make it 10 foot small? Yeah, so you have the option to make it small as you want okay. to But the Good. max you'd be able to make it at level 20 would be 10. Yeah, it's very, yeah. It's very thematic with, with Claudius. Two levels. It be it's very thematic. Yeah. Plus, uh, it's almost like that stall, like la the last battle that I casted on Cynthia, um, Sino, and Claudius. Mm -hmm. You know, that he did it here. You know, so, so like, if you notice that when it comes to protection spells, Claudius gravitates to those type of wall of force type effects. Because they're very good. They protect people. It's weird. The best way to make spells, you gotta compare them to all the spells of the right, same, yeah, the same of the same level, or, or even a level above. Yeah. Level. Like, cause I'm looking at repulsion. Which is yeah. Six level was Because I'm looking. Kind of does what yeah. your spell does, except yeah. it creates an invisible. And repulsion spell. is level six. It's six. I ate. I don't know level two. It's a big radius. It's mobile. Right. And it prevents all creatures from coming towards. You, unless they pass their will system. This is not allow save. This one's a wall of force. Of but this is like a resilient sphere spell. Right. But it's yes. blocking them specific creature types. And then I get to save. Can't even and remember, it's as hard this, because yeah. it's only a wall of force against them, but not towards anything else. That's that's what makes it difficult. Right. And remember, it, it has also the same vulnerabilities as a, as a wall of force spell. Like a, 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 a ray of disintegrate will destroy it. Like if, you're, if you're targeting or if you have a spell that targets say, or that affects a specific type, then it would have to end just the spell. As I'm saying, I don't them, see which means it. If it affects them, then normally I don't see any, I haven't seen any force spells that only, that only target specific creature types. Because, the, because force affects everything. Force affects everything. Well, well, but the, the thing, but the thing is, though, look at the school of magic that I included. I included evocation and abjuration. Remember, he's trying to exclude like outsiders primarily, and there's a lot of abjuration school that you know that basically hinders like outsiders, like banishment. True, but they're not using force. Uh, you could do like a resilient sphere with well, the, with you the combine two schools. Why not do a mixture between resilient fear and um, dimensional anger? They can't. They wouldn't be able to teleport inside. If that's all you, if that's all you, if that's all you prevent. Wait, 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 wait. That will only prevent the people inside from teleporting out, but it will still be able to teleport in there. No, no, no. As in, like the sphere blocks anyone from teleporting inside, not anyone from getting. Inside. You know what? Yeah, you're right. I can just make it simpler like that. Make it that nobody could teleport in there. Plain and simple. Because it's weird to have a. Well, first of all, it's weird to have a force spell that only affects specific, like, no force spell really does that. And on top of that, it would also look weird if dragons and evil outsiders are stuck outside, but an army of orcs would blow right through it. Like, that, does, <laughs> that doesn't well, seem well, it's like a wall like of force effect to me at all. It's a wall of force, though. Unless they're a wizard and could, you know, cast away to disintegrate. A wall of force is very difficult to destroy. I would, Not even to spell magic. If you're just trying to hedge out specifically, I would do a... Because I'm also I also don't want to I'm I'm also not trying to make it like invulnerable like there's nothing that could destroy it you know and that it limits everyone as well so I I, I think that'll be too powerful I think you have to shy away from making it a tangible thing. 
You have to, you have to, you probably have to get away from making it a force. Some tangible. I would make it a repulsion spell, just weaker, because it only affects specific creatures. It could be like mm. built into a repulsion, but a repulsion, like a fifth level oh, spell. That stuff is like, if I don't correct, that's my effect. If I could see it as a fifth level spell. Okay, how about this, guys? How about, how about once the spell is cast, no one from the outside of the spell could teleport in. Well, yeah. Almost like a dimensional lock type effect. Okay. However, those that are in it, like the they can teleport lock out. Doesn't have anybody right. They can tele they can right. Those that are in it, they could teleport out. But um, but then then what, what I, do you yeah, want to teleport know. back in? I'm to to, you know. Can I make it that if you if you already if you were originally a recipient of the spell, you can teleport in and out or, or not? Lou. Um, well, it depends. Is it stationary or is it mobile? Stationary. Okay, so it's more like a globe of invulnerability. Yeah. Um, is what Charlie's still talking? Could, you could rule the cast of going in and out, but everybody else should be locked out if they, if they leave it. If, if, Wait. If they leave it, trying to, if they try to take it back in, they're screwed. Charlie's still talking? That sounds fair. Yeah, yeah. It's, 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 if you to, see it, it's more yeah. like an. That's why it's called Claudius Protective Sanctuary. It's more like a emergency spell when people is gonna TPK. Antonio, at least to buy some time for Cynthia, or whoever. Yeah, what's up? To, to yeah, I don't hear Richard. I only hear Richard when Luke because he's talking or, to Lewis. or, or whoever. I, I don't so, see yeah. Watson or 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 um or Messel. Gotta refresh. Are they there? Yeah, uh, Darren can hear you. Fine. They said they couldn't. Oh, I don't see they, said, they said they couldn't hear you just now. Oh, now he's back. He's back now. Oh, I, I think I think probably Watson has to reset his computer. I see well, Darren now. Why do you keep blaming Watson all the time? Nah, you disappeared. I don't know, man. Is it me then? I'll yeah, reset. It wasn't like you because I heard you. I heard him talking through Lewis's computer, but I didn't hear Pachardo. Uh, I was you like, can't why? See, I... Yeah, Pachardo, you have to hit. There's a there's a reconnect button on the settings. That's just right. Right. Not a problem. Did I, did I refresh then again, or I, you're good on my end? Yeah, I, good, I, I, I see go to um, go to the settings. Go to the settings on uh -huh. and scroll down. Okay. Uh, scroll down. It says reconnect. Just shutting up. All right, I'll do that. Hold on. Okay. Okay. Now I see Watson again. All right. Yeah. All right. So yeah, so, so, so yeah, so so like I was saying, we could make this spell stationary, obviously, because it's supposed to be a spell to prevent the TPK. You know, so it's definitely stationary. We could make it that no one could teleport in. However, besides the spellcaster himself, if anyone else teleports out, they cannot teleport back in. How's that? Unless it's a spellcaster himself. So this is a great this is a great spell. We're about to get TPK to do it around everyone, and then Cynthia could get to work and start like bringing people back from the death and shit. It'll buy us some time at least right. until yeah. So what do you guys think at least uh, of like the, the thought of the spell? It's good abjury. It's, it's, it's a, a good abjury. It's, it's, yeah? it's a mixture of two other spells. I think was it resilient. <laughs> Kind of like emergencies, it's like a bigger emergency force field. Right, right. That's what he's trying to do, like a bigger emergency force field. We could include the party. Is this an immediate action spell? No, I was. Oh, oh, let me see. That would bump. The uh, it, if it's an immediate action spell, that would lower the duration. Instead of like one minute per caster level, I could make it one round per caster level. Yeah, you could do that. How the spell level. I'll make it an immediate action. Yeah, an immediate action, but it only lasts one round per caster level instead of one minute per caster level. Makes sense. All right. Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah, so that's, uh, yeah, Claudia's been, um, his legacy, man. I've got to create some spells before right, his group retires. I can't do that. Yeah. You only have to craft I cannot do that. Because you don't let us do that as bonus spells, right? You want us to actually do the research yeah, and money. Be, yeah, if it's an original spell, it has to be actually research. 
I figured. That's why I didn't even bring it up for the bonus pass. I know that you wanted us to do that. So, yeah, once Claudius is done with Messwar stuff, see Messwar, it, it comes back to you now. That's 38 days that I'm sacrificing for my son doing his magical gear instead of me doing my own stuff. And what, and what what's your other son doing? Wait, wait, wait. You mean like you craft a gift for Kai? <laughs> right. Kai? <laughs> Are you going to go oh, in, his, in his prison? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you guys didn't hear, huh? Kai's not there no more. He's a free man. He's, he's frozen. Claudia's well, released him. What? I did it with I did it with uh, chloroform before, so uh, we ma I made a deal with Kai. He gave us all the plan of the case, right, and where his people are at in exchange for his freedom. Hold I on. thought it was I'm a good I'm not even aware of this. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. We didn't have to go down the list. All right. Hey, man. Let's, we need to go down the list. All right. All right. Day, day one after. All right. Characters. You're at the temple. Everybody's at the temple. Either the temple or the sanctuary. I don't know where your characters were, but you guys got together and you got together to make plans of action. Are you talking about was it the telephone or why after you teleported out? I'm just saying Are we talking about after you teleported out and, and, you went, went to and then you went to call them. Mm -hmm. Oh, we went to Cauldron again. I remember. People went to Cauldron. Some went to the sanctuary. I took uh, I took Bessoir's body to uh, to Cauldron because we we needed to get him to uh, to the Temple of the Iron Mark. Make it be true. So he had him at the temple. He went over with the followers. What's been going on? Um, set them on the next plan of action. Into your for the night, just examine Smith's horse condition. Still in the same state. Nobody knows when he's gonna wake up, but he's alive. Um, he's like he's caught between life and death. Um, um, the wounds in his body won't heal. I mean. He was able to like nurse his body back, but the scars won't leave. Um, covered in metal shrapnel scars, pretty much. Um, yeah, um, Chloe's went back to the sanctuary, made sure everything was okay, things were really good, made sure there was no trouble while he was out. Um, not as many customers, obviously, because of, because of the situation in the, in the region. Refugees are either in Nyerkef or they're in, um, or they're in the town of the Kapain. Um, Nyerkef, Nyerkef is the... Original town that Turbo Spell Mason had founded before the Uh The local mining area. That's what they specialize in anyway. And it's also home to the to the Chisel, the organization of merchants that that, that, that helped you guys out. It's the only organization of merchants that's not really, you know doesn't seem to have anything corrupt going on with it. And they've done a lot for your characters, providing whatever resources and help that they could, uh, financially speaking. Um, well, even materialistically, you know, because they were made up of a group of uh, pretty rich merchants that deal in whatever their specialty is. Uh, you know, clothing, gems, jewelry. Uh, um, you know, obviously, any magic item that they could procure. Um, Uh, with all that known and settled, your characters take a much needed rest. And 
the next day with the feeling refreshed, or however long your character wants. It may physically be all right. Psychologically, that's on your your role play. Um, but yes, yeah, the next day, and and and. Um, trying to figure out your next, your next course. Back, pretty much. Um, the only thing you know is the only thing you know for sure is you stop the portal from ever happening. Get your souls and destroy. However, the souls are you don't know what happened to them. You don't know if they're free. But maybe you could resurrect the fallen. You don't know if they're completely destroyed, which seems likely, or you don't know. Like, you, your characters have no clue. Mm. And then right now, Metro still hasn't woken up. Um, as of now, I think, what, uh, Cynthia and Belayna at the temple and Dino. Final and the drama that stays behind the whole class situation. And then Claudia showed up. Rose Kai. Which he doesn't, I was going to say, he doesn't need to stay there. Well, that's when Claudia showed up. Rose Kai. And then. Um, Foley took him back to the sanctuary. Who's in the sanctuary? You and Zino. Oh yeah, we're gonna um call. They did. They did. They put him in that. He said he put him in that one room where it's really cold. Yeah, that's a room. The, cry the cryo chambers. That's a room that's frozen. So that's why he placed them so he doesn't put him in there. It doesn't melt. And plus. There's, there's no threat there. Anyone that could like break him or anything. Claudius is gonna convert you the, the. You guys sealed the entrance on top of that. Right. I think you sealed it with a wall of stone, and then you went, and then you went on the outside, and you did your best to camouflage the freaking. Oh yeah, he did do that. Seals out there too, as well. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because that's a very trying, dangerous area. Everybody else trying to look for the for these for these ruins is gonna meet a dead end, and if they still dig their way or bear or burrow their way or whatever and, and having to bump into it they're gonna get they're gonna get met with whatever water that you put there. Right. Uh, you'll know if someone breaks in pretty much. Claudius um he's gonna use the sanctuary to almost like a refugee camp, convert into a refugee camp since he has acres of land and um and the resources to be able to you know to make like Two kitchens and, and you know similar to the like. Well, the mm -hmm. will put, um, so anyone that's uh, uh, the white hand and he'll put uh, the the justicators on on caravan duty because for people to travel from the cauldron to to send to the sanctuary is gonna be a dangerous uh, kind of travel route for them, especially mm -hmm. now. So, like, they're gonna need protection from like that dragon. Um, oh, I have the Knight Order and the Justifies on the carrot. Like, basically guard them during it, like on that on that travel back and forth. And Claudius, um, you, you, um, um you gonna you talk to the member of the, the Chisel to see if he could get some assistance from them as well to provide like tents, you know, and the like. You know, too. So like that, that whole surrounding area, unless you were there in and out all the time, you had some problems with some with some um, lycanthrops. You got you got a bunch of wild fucking dinosaurs and shit fucking just walking around that area. So mm. in there <laughs> also, I forgot to add in that. Um, uh, Jenny and Mirfa were part of the telepathic bond. Yeah, I forgot about. You guys came back. 
ass. They um, they ass. They both ass. They're like, like is uh, you guys, you know, is everyone all right? It, it looks like it succeeded. There's no the vortex is gone. The skies are clear again. <laughs> Zion <Zyna> laughs. <laughs> I wouldn't necessarily call this a victory. And then that's when Mirathon was like, with what happened to my son? He didn't make it, did he? My point stands. I can't see tell it's being telepathic. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, none, of, none of them made it back. They were all consumed by the tree. It wasn't. A, it was not. It was not a victory. However, the mission was. And it's like. I know you're not going to want to hear this, but you saved countless other lives. Yeah, you're right. That's not what we want to hear. At an unfortunate sacrifice. You did what you could. There's still more to do. What happened to the cage rights? Are they gone? No, they're not. They're scattered. Damn. Recouping as we speak. However, they're not as strong as they used to be, but they are a problem that we're going to have to deal with soon. It sounds like it's quite a while. Well. <sighs> uh, always something. It's like none of us can catch a break. Yes. I want the cage rights. I want the, the I want justice delivered to them. I want. He's alive. What's that? Oh, here's the crosshairs closure in Paris. Uh, Jenny and Marathon are both like, we're unsure with, with Marathon's take. Jenny goes on. Marathon's doing what he can to help uh, some of them take refuge in Nyarkath. I'm taking the other half to get refuge in Kahane. From there, we're going to have to see if we can get some outside help from the surrounding uh, from the, from the, from the surrounding cities in Findal. Obviously, don't bother with Samarak. Assuming you can get through their illusory borders, they're not going to offer any help. They're too xenophobic. The prime mistake was for you wanting spies or whatnot. Make that place great again. Doesn't this city falls under a kingdom? Yes, she said. That's why I mentioned the rest of Thindal and the the city. Uh, the Council of Cities. Oh, they will need to come off. We don't know the extent of the damage. We need that information. Where have you all gone? Since you escaped the volcano, where are you located? If you're at Cauldron, how does it look? I think you and Cynthia are the only ones that call. <laughs> I'm saying, I'm waiting, like, no one can answer that question. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is, remember, Claudius and Zino are at the sanctuary. Like I said, this happened after what? you guys teleported out. Because so, there's still like three hours left in the freaking telepathy. So. Is Claudius, Claudius in this conversation too, Claudius? Yeah, everybody. Okay. Seven, seven minutes. 
your measures unconscious. <laughs> Um, he just he just asked where we were at. He goes, while restoration has been underway, the city of the whole is still reeling. Places, everything is in complete shambles. Buildings that have survived, um, mostly like uh, buildings like the Temple of the Iron Martyr, through some sort of divine help. Uh, serve as places where uh, the homeless and, and the destitute and the hungry and the scarred are gathering and try and get together some sort of decision so they can make their way out of the city. Uh, whereas heavy crimes have ceased due to the fact that many are no longer uh, no longer fighting for the fact that possession of uh, many are no of goods on that level. There's still those that have owned the city and are preying on the chaos and uh, and the disorientation of the, of the city habitants. The uh, order of the White Hand are doing their best as well as um, Jenny's men and other city officials. To, to keep these miscreants in the To take advantage of 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 Go to uh, surrounding towns and uh, surrounding locations, uh, like the uh, sanctuary. It's uh, it's difficult to man those excursions as well as protect those within the city at the same time. There are a lot of people who are still lost and need to be reconnected with their families, and the death count still hasn't finished. Still a lot of rubble and a lot of destroyed buildings to uh, clean up. But the effort is there. It's too bad that uh, we have this crisis right now, so the vindicators themselves can't afford to physically rebuild the city themselves. Not until we're done with the cage match. Alright, well, then, for now, we'll focus on the refugees and think about solely trying to figure out what else could be done with Cauldron and who, who may want to return. No, he's talking. Over late in the streets, sir. Oh, yeah, he did. This is the city that I have sworn my field to. No, that's just Louis Theron. And I intend to use... Can you tell me? Can you talk about these? Uh, and I intend to use my my full wealth and full resources to restore in the city as it was before its calamity. And I don't intend to do so for monetary gain. Although, I hope to improve on the things that uh, a friend of mine named Cobb once pointed out to me that was a weakness between the city. Changes in its administration of its laws and its enforcement. I eat my father. He's not looking for money.
Pointed that deed, sir. <laughs> Time to put out some coin. Um. So we have third and play. Well, and our next plan of action is it's just we're gonna have to find more information on the cage and what they could be up to next as quickly as possible before they decide to do anything else. Yeah, he's there. Sure. Huh? Lewis. I'm here. Lewis, can you hear Pachardo? We have to find more information on the cage No, I can't hear next. No, all you gotta do is watch him. Look, listen, all you gotta do is watch him on Twitch and he won't freeze. He's not freezing on Twitch. I'm, I'm watching the Twitch. Oh, that's you <laughs> watching me on Twitch. I'm yeah, he's talking, but if you watch him on your computer, he freezes. Am I frozen? Darren, can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. Oh, you can't hear nobody but me now? If you can't hear Tony on Patrono? I can hear Matt, I can hear you, and I can hear... I haven't heard... I don't know if Zino's there. The, the, the yeah, niggas have been Tony talking for a minute, so that's why I'm crazy. I'm like the translator. What are you going to say to him? I don't know why he keeps doing that. Hello? Yeah, now I can hear you guys. There you go. You Yo, um, <laughs> all, all this time I've been talking, and I think you like ignoring me, or, or you. Or you ah, like, hey, man, on. Hey, man, on. Reason, you it must be the Twitch, man. It must be that Twitch, man. For, for some, some reason, okay, Ray. I don't hear nothing again. You don't, you don't hear, hear nothing again? again? It feels like you got muted. I'm going to reset it. Nah, yeah, listen, you know, just watch it on Twitch. I can hear you, Lewis. You're good now for me. <laughs> That was funny as hell. He said, "Can he?" Some reason, like it cuts out certain people, but not, but not, but not, not everybody. everybody. Like I can hear Matt and Watson on here. I can hear. Well, he's right next to you, man. I guess. I couldn't, <laughs> That's hear, the difference. I couldn't hear. Well, no, I meant like I unmuted Matt on here to see if like his voice was coming through. It was. It was. Yours, Yours was. Hey, why did I never? I don't know. I don't got nothing going on. Hey, are you talking close to Matt's mic? Okay. <laughs> All right. Anyway, and I couldn't hear Antonio and Petrano for some reason. So you couldn't hear Antonio. Um, no, nah, I couldn't Can hear me now. Lewis. No. Lewis, that. <laughs> now you fucking with me. Get out of here. Lewis, you there? Stop. Man. <laughs> with... I passed my sense motive. Get out of here. Wow. It actually, it actually, <laughs> wow. Look, he had a lie about it, too. All right, I closed out the browser and restarted it. Hey, I hear you fine. Can you hear me? Okay, yeah, I hear you. All right, what I was saying was, doesn't the city of Cauldron belong to, like, a con falls under a country? Like, you know, like, yeah, the country United States, it's a council, Texas. It's a council. It's a council it's a, it's a, it's a, is ruled by a council of six. All right. So, being, being a member of so, the council. so cold. So obviously, Cauldron is not independent. It's not like his own independent city state, right? Or is it? They're city states, but they're not like they're not autonomous. Do that. All right. Do they have like a duke or I mean, a general? Or a they're just not independent. Okay? Like, do they fall under a king or duke or? Something a lot. No, it's just a it's just a council it's just a council of the leaders of all the cities in the, in the area. Oh, okay. So I would so like I, a would, I would assume people. the tiebreaker or in, in, in such <laughs> in such heavy debates would probably be whoever runs the capital of Thindle because it does have a capital city. No, it's, the capital city is Thindar. Right, Thindar. So these people here, they don't pay no taxes to Thindar. Um, um, they pay taxes to the city, but the city then pays uses that money to pay the the capital. What does the capital? I mean, what does Cauldron gets in return for paying taxes? Like in the natural disasters, they like just not their autonomy, but they also like they 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 can request you know aid 
in case in times of, in, in times of emergency. If, if that's if that's where this is going towards. Jen, right. Jen already brought this up though. Jen said she was going to try and um. Got it. She's going to bring a couple. She's going to escort some of the nobles to Thindom and get a meet. Set a, you know, try to get some meeting with the, the council and explain to them exactly everything that's happening because. If throughout the rest of Findal, if they were to look towards the Sun Rock Mountains, they can see that shit. You know, they see that shit in the distance. Like, what the fuck is going on in Cold? Is that above Cold? Yeah, it's above Cold. <laughs> That's funny, Louis. <laughs> Niggas is looking like, yeah, that shit's on fire over there, though. <laughs> the volcano's rumbling. There's a big. Yeah, not going there for vacation. The skies are red. There's a big vortex above the city. There's shit's raining from the sky. What the fuck is going on over there? I ain't going over there. Fuck that shit. <laughs> What's going on over there could come to you. Yeah, right. I mean, you, well, um, you know, you, you got some people that are like, can we you know, we better go see what's up. Others are like, oh, fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> the world. All right, so, the, so it, look, it looks like we're not going to be getting that much. We're not going to be getting that much help from the, from the government. Maybe a little help here and there. Yeah, not, not, not right now. Why well, is she she's going over there to with the nobles. They're all basically they basically these NPCs are going over there to use their use their fucking skill, their diplomacy skills to get some shit done. So. <laughs> I'm going to recommend Claudius um tells the group in the telepathic um bond, including myth um including um <laughs> yeah, yeah, tell me I won't be like mm. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, well, yeah, I heard that including Lens who are coming. Well, well we we do we do have a few loose ends. Like the old father dragon. We could use his treasure hoard to fund the reparation of this city as well. Oh shit. Hell <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Us? Remember us? We're got, we're I'm got like that. Run that. I'm just going to say you fucking destroyed the guy. We succeeded. Yeah, we succeeded. We just <laughs> taking that. And didn't the old father also send that? Half breed of his to try and KO Messor. Yeah, a lot of half breeds, but yeah, yeah. Zarek, Zarek is one of them. Exactly. So that's a loose end that we need to take care of. If we're speaking of loose ends, who's teleport? Wait, wait. Who exactly is teleporting over there? To, to... Not today. We need to. We, oh, we need to recoup. <laughs> Not today. Why are we doing that today? It could be like three days. That real quick. It can't go last one. Um, Metsor is still unconscious, so you're short one guy. Whoa. If we're speaking of loose ends, Cla Claudius don't want nothing from that treasure hoard. It could be used for the city. I'm sure Valentinum would agree with that. There you go. I, what about that? Um, I mean, we always cast divination spells later on. That treasure hoard that um this guy had, and that volcano probably got destroyed too. Oh, I'm talking about um... molten claw. What, 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 molten wing. Molten wing? There you go, molten wing. Who are you talking about? It's probably someone I forgot about. Who? You talking about the Yeah, who you think I was talking about? Uh, I thought you were talking about, um... What the fuck is his name? Hold on. Hookface. How did I forget him? No, fuck Hookface. He killed Hookface. Oh, yeah! We still have the treasure hole. Oh shit! Treasure, yeah, freaking Stano <laughs> killed the dragon, but they didn't even inquire about the freaking treasure. Yeah, what about my man? Oh uh, uh, yeah, that too. We, we're going treasure hunting, guys. What about Ryan? Oh, no, 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 going treasure hunting. What? You don't want to save the city, man? It's for the I, city. I got. Uh, there's a mission that I got to do for myself. Wow, your gun is more important than the citizen <laughs> of Cauldron. We're well, trying to rebuild the city, man. Here's the thing. We're low on resources. Neutral, you, you're going to true neutral soon. <laughs> There's the new Kai in the making, son. 
Think Appealing to this church could give us resources that we need. You, you're going to true neutral, and Claudia's going to chaotic good. We're low on resources, and this is a loose end that could come and bite us later. Something that we don't need now. Uh, yeah, just get yourself a regular musket. You're godlike. You'll survive. He's trying to get an unfair advantage against other fellow gunslingers. I would call it more of an opportunist. Thank you. <laughs> I took my resources and didn't ask get questions. That get that musket, man. Get yourself six muskets. So you won't have to watch it. Hold on, the musket, man. What's that thing? You'll be able to shoot six bullets per round with six muskets. Like, pop, 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 pop. <laughs> but they could help us, maybe, with resources, engineering, no, with structures. Who? The church of God? They got a big one. Nothing to do with us, man. They, they want your don't. They don't want anything to do with us, but they do want our rifle. You're, yeah, yeah. It's a it's a good negotiation piece. The last thing they would want is have this rifle into the wrong hands, and I can respect that. Anyway, guys, whenever you guys were, maybe you, I don't know if you want to role play that or not, Lewis, but during downtime. Or if you just want to write her off that we did that, that's something I'm sure the crew, except Sino, wants to get done. Getting that red dragon's treasure hoard, molten wing, and the black dragon. Oh, yeah, those Since we're high, well, molten wing was like staying level with us, so never mind. We actually body us. We had to escape. <laughs> But I'm sure that for the Black Dragon... Well, you guys can't get back to the... You guys can't be, get back to the fire station from anything. That shit's Okay, okay. So that's that's done with... That's that means that dragon's coming back. <laughs> yeah, that's done. So I guess... I guess... <laughs> so I guess the Red Dragon Horde and the Black Dragon Horde. So do those. There you go. Yeah. Sounds good. This guy was fucking clicking again. Yeah, Messor is playing video games. Yeah. Then we can take that oh, horn. What happened? We'll what happened? So then we can take the whole horn and we'll go to the city with it. Right. Sounds good. Claudius has the appropriate divination spells to be able to get to work right away. He got vision. Does that help? That level 8 spell? Level 7 spell, I mean? Which one? I'm sure. He got vision. Does that help? To find to help find the, the dragon horde for the... Well, the black dragon one, we know where it's at. You know where the trap shit I do you need to teleport back to the fucking <laughs> we, we could teleport back there, yeah. The red dragon one, we might have to Functions do some like legend lord it works more quickly. What was a question? It was a question. Okay. Yeah, we know the name of the dragon, right? It would be like where's person, place or object. Place. If the person or object acting in court you would place. If we don't get that horde, somebody else is. Because that dragon is dead. Only detailed information from the person placed. Only numbers are known. If it works like Legend Lord. Frequency of mind, legends about an important person, place, or thing, person, or thing is at hand, or trying to place a question. You have only detailed information. We need to ask him. Ask him. No vision is quicker. Yeah, that's what's there. Uh, there's something more specific. Uh huh. Okay, okay.
When completed, Divination brings legends depending about the personal place of things to your mind. These may be legends that are still current, legends that have been forgotten, or even information that has never been generally known. The personal place of things is not of legendary importance. You gain no information. Both them characters. Uh, vision will work. Make a cast level check. Hello. Wow. It's what I miss. Uh, yeah. yeah. Vision will work. It'll work. Is uh, make a cast level check. Oh, cast the level check, All right? It doesn't use XP anymore. What does it use? Gold. Five. All right. So I got I got a fifteen plus. What's my casting level? It's like twenty three, isn't it? Oh, you're good. Um. All right, so everyone is around, right? The whole group. You have detailed information on the place, so you and you pass the DC. So according to the spell, you should be getting. On, on the whereabouts of the lair. The result is less complete. Okay. But you get a result that's not exactly specific, but it, 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 it it's you get the visions of the clues of of an area in the mountains that you then relay to not even what's your there's a role of knowledge geography oh man can I use Cynthia to help me there or no yeah you could what so cause Claudius he's not the scholar you still got a good four, plus 14 on it <laughs> Okay, fine, but he's but proficient. I know she has a higher probably. All right, fine, I'll roll. You don't have to. I'm just saying, if he's consulting her, that's fine. He's consulting her, yeah. And plus, to walk me, the little that he knows. Hers is... Actually, yours is higher. Damn, I rolled pretty high. I rolled a 19. I was going to say, yours so is 30, higher, bonus anyway. 30. Yeah, she yeah. can still do it. No, she can still do it untrained. She can still do it well. untrained. Help out. Right. Her knowledge, her, all her knowledge skills are plus twelve. Period. Eight. All right, Louis. I, I didn't, I didn't add deafness in the sigil, so it's probably higher than that. Thirty-five, I think. Oh, well, in that case, he got thirty-five. Yeah, and then with uh, Cynthia, another two. Well, yeah. Well, the two you were easily able to put together from the clues that you got from your vision. Yeah. Got like all the night twelve. Where the location of Procrastes' lair is at. God, like, son. He was able to decipher exactly, pinpoint where that shit is at. Pretty good. Nice. Yep. <laughs> that saves a lot of days of adventuring trying to find that crap. Yo, high level is fucking crazy. Dude, shit, man. Quick with a spell. <laughs> <laughs> this is like uh, lower levels. This is like All a right, weekend. Let's teleport temple. here. We'll take this dragon's horde. All right. Let's yep. do this. Let's do that. All right. This is where it's Then, then, at. then we can just use find forward. the path after that. Yeah, I'll say directly. Yeah, she, could, she could use find the path. Find the path. Maybe that's the same sanctuary. We can go to his horde. Same way. Motherfucker's popping up at people's lairs like, what the fuck? How are you over here? Like, uh. <laughs> And I, um, the Latinum, I guess, like the safest spot to put the horde once we get the treasure horde, it will be in the Temple of Souls. Yeah, yeah, put we could put stuff there. That's the most secure area that we have. Actually, the most secure area would be if you and Cynthia create a demi plane 
Oh yeah, you're right. Like we put all the treasure off world on a plane that only we know about and can have access to. That, that's right. And then we'll take money as progress as of the city or so on. Yeah, because we can't just be like. What gave me that idea was the Adventure Dragon Slayer. Where there's like a, a demi clay where the fucking the quote unquote purple dragon from Cormier had like a demi plane where you put all the treasure at. He had it guarded by goblins and shit. You go there to like fucking pick out the goblins and get the treasure hoard and bring it back to Cormier. Oh wow. You don't remember that quest? We did it. Yeah. We did it with um Oh, you did request a moon. That's why you're going. Yeah, I just said you request a moon. Oh. But yeah, we could create a dummy plane. Because we still got to create one for us to put. Well, no, we don't anymore. But we still have to go. We still have to go into one of the prison planes we created for this guy. Because we got to ask him questions about. About the the, uh, the whereabouts of the of um of the uh, age right. Who we gonna interrogate first, um, Kai? About the whereabouts of the cage rights? No, Kai's frozen. Don't we have one of them captured? What's she, what's you call this? What's this dude? We didn't execute him. This bitch is apprentice. The the monk didn't she die? Because of the volcano exploded? Nah, not her before that. Um, the dude before, the dude oh, the Amber Sarcophagus guy? Nah, not him. The dude, the dude that we fought in uh, in the in the cathedral. I can't. Yeah. What was he, an apprentice? He's an apprentice one of the cage rates. He's a cleric of Jurgle. He kills the Ari. Oh, I know we have we have we have somebody captured. There's two people that we have captured. One is the blue dude. Um, the beholder is dead, so Valancho was killed because he, well, made suicide. But yeah, you know, he bit his own tongue or some shit like that. If I don't remember correct. <laughs> he bit his own tongue and bled out. He bled out. But we had two people that um that Lady. the city didn't do anything about. Lady Riviati escaped, never to be seen again during the Orbius. We didn't see her again. Uh, there's two enemies that we defeated that we didn't kill, and they didn't get executed by the city. So they're in prison for me. Okay. That is this dude from. Um, Anyway. Does Lewis does planar binding works on extra planars that are already in the prime material plane? Yeah. Well that obviously Claudius doesn't know the power level of Deudro. How do you say his name? Deudro? Deiris. Deiris. Yeah. Uh if he's level 18 and or below, doesn't technically he could, like, planar bind him? He could, at the temple of soul? You could try. Oh, you could try? You could try. <laughs> well, the Vindicators are going to be there, so if he breaks loose or whatever, boom, right there. You let's go. Let's interrogate this dude. Whatever. You know He's leader himself. So, uh, I don't know. That's that's something that I'll, that Claudius is going to... Just to Velenum, though, he, he'll... 
Wait, Valena and Cynthia. Never mind. Valena and Cynthia. Now the whole party. Well, uh, we 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 we're very transparent now. Um, including Jenny. Well, we do know who the main leader of the cage rights is. Um, although it will take me some time to prepare, but I could always, I could attempt to summon him, Deirdre himself, and bind him, and hold us and hold him prisoner. If that were to work, we could get from him all the identity of the remaining cage rights and apprentices. At the temple of at the temple of Seoul, there's already a room set up for such a spell to be cast. I remember Lewis, there was like a summoning room in the Temple of Salt. That's for like call, for calling and binding creatures. So we're just gonna try it there. Yeah. Away away from away from any civilians. Not like today, but maybe the next day. Right. When everyone is rested up. We probably might need Messor back first, just in case. That's something that we... And not only that, Claudius has to gain level, so that'll be something they'll do towards the end of downtime, now that I think about it. Because we're not level 18 yet. I know Cynthia is going to go ahead with, like, for uh, that prayer that she wanted to do. To change some type of life. Because we're about to go into this last fight. And she got a taste of what the cage rights have in store. And we're going to need to be a lot more. Prepared. I'm about to get that subtype. I'm not trying to get fucking jump, plank, none of that shit. Y'all niggas can stay regular if y'all want to. I'm going to this She going to say what? She's going to do that, uh, that spell where she changes her subtype. Anybody else who wants to do Isn't that the spell that turns you like lawful neutral or something like that? Lawful good or? It doesn't change your alignment. It just changes your, uh, it changes your subtype. Yeah, you, you're gonna have to send me a link of that spell. I remember I had some reservations about that. Yeah, making your, making yourself axiomatic. Basically lawful. Mm, well, you get the subtype, but it doesn't change your character. It's basically like it's basically like if you're affected by law on a physical level. Mm. Oh, I thought it did. They cannot cast it on a chaotic creature? Claudius is chaotic.
Bro, let's make some time go by. What? What is okay. that doing? Sino, you're up. Mm. Well, are you guys still going to go get the horde from that dragon? I hope not. Please say no. For now, he's going to... Uh, help with relief effort, then he's actually going to... Latan? Yeah, he's going to uh, ask Valatinum for help to establish a meeting with the Church of Gold. Contact the agent, communication, it can be good magic. Pretty got like music. A, a um, knowledge, a guy that information actually. He makes a joke because you would think at this point in time this would be their time to, you know, come after me. With Aldina gone, that's one less person that they'd have to worry about. Um, yeah, bro. Well, not even no, no. This will be the perfect time for them to make their move, but what do I know? But this is something that's been plaguing me for a while now. So while there's people in the area that will probably have gone to the patron, as for anybody from the clergy itself, you're short-handed on that, except in one town in Findle, um, known as Lunda. Hmm. Moon death. How far away is that town? That's not how you get there. Well, we can teleport there. Past the Tiching Mountains. But if it, across if the it, river, Tiching. Going through lizard folk territory. And then arriving at, at the mouth of the river, north of the Hazar Mountains, where Metsua was. Raised by the gold dwarves. If we do overland flight, I'm gonna want to take this picture. Yeah, it's gonna be miles. <laughs> Get the manual all that shit. A uh, few days, if less. Possibly less. You flying over there? We do overland flight. About three days. I'm, I'm guessing. Because we haven't. Well, Metsuar's been there before, but the rest of the people can't stop. Lundeth? No, he hasn't been to Lundeth. Just say where he grew up. No, Lundeth is located by the Hazard Mountains, which the mountains was where. Oh. Underneath. Because there's a lot of, there's some gold dwarf settlements in those mountains. I'm looking for, okay, there it is. Well, that's where we gotta go. I'm not asking I'm not asking anyone to come with me. Well I would have to. I'm the one that's rolling the check. The diplomacy check. 
<laughs> so it's by the river Lunev, which is also known as the Cascades, a very short and wild river that arises in the western Azure <laughs> Mountains and plummets down to the thin gulf in a series of small waterfalls. Although the inhabitants of Lunev have tamed the river mouth of a series of water mills, and most of the water courses to preserve of a pool of fossil grains. There's a type of bay that lived by the waterfall, and a tumble of Gelab Buddha, a rock like race of elemental creatures. Be before the Oh, the Moss Manual? did have a weird one. Like, fucking just fold with it. <laughs> I like the Feirudi, the, the one in Moss and Feirudi was better. Alright, so. Um, Loon Death is, um. It's a large city. Wow, it's a large city. Holy shit. Uh, large city. Louis and Asapaz. I thought it was a smaller place. Oh, shit. If it's a large city, we could go there and I load that down. Let's go! It's actually bigger than fucking. Cauldrons was considered a small city, I think. There we go. All right, guys. So Metropolis. Uh, Try to go shopping. Oh, we got an economy now. Let's get it. <laughs> Let's go. Let's make it a trip, guys. Since it's a three days from uh, flying overhead, it's three days flying. You know it's got to be half a ten day going by horse. I was like, yeah, Kelvin's a small city. So if it's half a ten day going by horse, all the material that we need to rebuild the city, we can buy from this city right here. That's a big fucking... And it'll only take about four days, four to five days travel. Cauldron's typical population is about 7,500. Moondef has about 23, 23 to 24,000. There you go. We could hire laborers from there to rebuild. everything from there. Also, yeah. is the city of Whirring Waters. Well, what the fuck is wrong with now? <laughs> That's just big enough well, to comment this game. It lies. Yeah, we got the logistics now. We got the logistics now to get everything rolling now. Man. And y'all guys didn't want to go. It lies at the foot of the Cascades, where the River Lundeth has been harnessed to operate a series of small water mills. Its devices power all manner of technological contraptions. Oh, yeah? Technological contraptions? Including a set of presses that can each create up to Whoa. 100 swords per day. Whoa! Whoa, these guys are mass Factories. Mass, mass produced swords. Factories. Mm. <laughs> Despite the involvement of gold dwarf overseers, weapons produced in this fashion are still quite shoddy. Such a weapon commands less than 10% of its normal price. It's great DC is going to half that I for a normal it's specimen. mass produced so easily with cheap ass weapons. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. You know, Gone has something to do about that, you making know, it an uh, Nevertheless, efforts to refine the process continue. A small number of Lantana expatriates. Oh, people from Lantana already there. Have recently settled in this city, bringing recently? with them missionary priests of God. Oh, I bet. I bet. All right, let's go. We're making a trip then, Zaino. Let's Save do it. Trip to Latan, man. Hopefully, I come back. Probably go there and find some bullets, motherfucker. You never know. <laughs> there you go, man. You don't got to make your own bullets no more. Yeah, They're probably selling. Now, you know, if you play your cards right. Yeah, buy your bullets. You guys yeah. able to go there to the city itself. You see meet a dwarven gunsmith. Join the gun religion. Become a chosen of God. And That's honestly God. like his... I don't know. Like, it depends on how this all works out. Man, if you were God Denise, you wouldn't be having this issue right now. The Bend the knee, <laughs> Dino. Wow. Dino. Dino. Bend the knee. Dino. Bend the knee. <laughs> yeah. Bend the knee. Yeah. Bend the knee. Lick on the ball. Become a ghost and keep the rifle. All right. That's all Sino gotta do, man. Sino, bend the knee. Ben suck on his ball, yeah, suck his balls, <laughs> become his cho become his chosen, <laughs> yeah, bend the knee, suck his balls, and become his, uh, he'll make you his chosen, and then you can keep the rifle, boom, <laughs> problem solved, there you go, play a little bit with his balls, yeah. bend the knee, man, just bend the knee, say I'm the champion of gone, I'm the chosen one, there's no gunslinger in this realm that actually matches me right now. There you go, son. Play him a fool. Your soul go to God's realm, and you know, he'll be cool with that. 
Why are you gonna die? They just they don't want to kill you. They just want the rifle. They just want the rifle, but he wants your worship, man. Your soul. After no. that, are you gonna trade your soul for the gun? That means when you die, you'll be his proxy. Because you're Lewis, a whatever character. happened to that one gunslinger I came across. Whatever. I can't well, remember trying, her name. You you want to take her gun? No, fuck. <laughs> no, I have no. I'm not a trophy hunter. That's one of Car that's one of Watson's NPCs that he created. The, the South Wing. The, the, Is it? I think so. That's what you're talking about. South Wing. Yeah. Oh, I'm honestly surprised I haven't heard from her. I'm honestly surprised I haven't heard from her. I thought that was you. You would have thought at this point in time I would have heard from her again. Oh yeah, she did come during the battle with Hookface. This guy, this guy, this guy's son is gonna sell his soul. I bend the knee. Make me, I want to worship you, Almighty God. Me and the Southwind, we gotta have a duo watch. We gotta, we gotta do this when I'm ready. Yeah. I think I'm ready now, though. I'm not though, not really. I heard rumors. There's like six muskets there with your name on it, waiting for you. <laughs> 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 They're gonna give you an endless limited supply of musket balls. <laughs> you know that quiver of Elhona or whatever that creates endless arrows? Mm -hmm. There'll be, be mundane bullets instead. Yo, oh, can that musket. be a possibility? Like... No, there ain't no solid snake shit going on. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, that's came back. Nah, I've been listening the whole time. Oh, <laughs> we go into the land of the machines. <laughs> the Is that the land of the machines? In machines. No Yo, they got factories to mass produce There's shitty. Like they be like mass produce nerf guns and shit. One D four damage. Oh, you Great, Have half the Who stayed with Nobody. Kai. I was waiting for him to say that. <laughs> Like, or listen, you find some goblin over in the moon. There you go. <laughs> well, either or, before Valenum and, and um, Sino left, Claudius does, uh, what's that she thing called? Those two we, we do the telepathic bond, so if they get in trouble, they could always, you know, like, hey, cuckoo, you know? Uh -huh. <laughs> like, do the Thundercat call, Thunder. Thunder, thunder, thunder. Last, like four hours. Uh, what? Oh, yeah, they're, they're leaving for three days, right? Never mind. Take that back. Nigga, don't check out like messenger birds. Well, if we had a vitalist, we now we, we got uh, no, we got the <laughs> <laughs> this guy came out of nowhere. Man, they <laughs> both level 16. Man, that should be just sit back and heal you guys while you do all the fights. I could sit back. Oh, the vitalist. Sit in loom death surrounded by dwarven. Prostitutes. <laughs> wow! <laughs> wow! Oh, yeah, yeah. Louis, if we had a villain, if we had a villainist in this party, he would have been in the Temple of Soul, the the Pillar of Soul right. there the whole this time. Is, if we had a vitalist, he'd be at this level. Where's level eighteen? <laughs> yeah, would be multiverse. Right ready to just sit on a sit in the Temple of fucking the Soul Pillar and just chill there and just all right, guys, I got you back. Yeah. Oh, you got hurt? Let me heal you real quick. All right, you're good. Yeah, <laughs> who got hurt like that? Damn, that was you, Claudius? Why are you getting hit? Here you go. You're fine now. <laughs> what are you talking about? All right. Uh, Claudius will be like, relating them, I'll tank because I can't die. I'll be like, up I know you got hit, but you hardly get hit. I'll, I'm going to save my PowerPoint. I'll heal somebody else. <laughs> yeah. mm. I'll heal you. When you're more hurt, if you belay them, you're always getting hurt. I'll wait till you're really low, and then I'll hit you with the sonic heel from like 50 miles away. But you know, my class ain't cheap, though. My class is not. 
It ain't it, Jimmy Allen. Lewis, that'd be dope if the dude was paralyzed too and he couldn't move dude, and it was only his I'm, mind. I'm, I'm lowering my uh Low my PowerPoints here. Could you um Are you making Professor X Darren you said that'd be cool if your um, character's paralyzed? You guys just you know drink potions and heal each other as you're drinking potions. Do you see that's one of the shit they could do? You connect it to the fucking the network and say you, you use a scroll or drink a potion, you can you can divest some of that healing to other members of the network. <laughs> <laughs> that's kind of like But it's not a cheesy fucking class at all. Yo, as soon as you say that, Lewis gets mad. <laughs> He's tilted right no now. No line of effect needed. <laughs> Some bullshit ass fucking. Case. <laughs> line of effect is like the balancing Yo, the fact. The only thing, the only happen. thing people online could say about it is, well, if he did something like that, he shouldn't be awarded the uh, the XP because he wasn't in the in the in the confrontation. He wasn't in the battle. I'm like, it don't mind. It don't matter. <laughs> Sitting there <laughs> straining his mind 24-7 in another place. You don't think he gets any there's XP for that? No reason, and plus there's no reason in character for that character not to take that route. It's the most effective and efficient route. Right. Why am, gonna, why, why am I going to why why am I going to why am I going to leave myself wide open just to heal you guys when I could do it? Right. What's the motivation for him to physically be there? There's none. Unless he was uh, yeah, you're right. That's true. Why? It doesn't make any sense. Like that's like that's like me going, hey, I go in an army, I could sit behind the screen and control like, you know, drone. a drone that's gonna do the same fucking damage or I can decide to be like a field grunt and go out and try to kill people but now I could be killed too. <laughs> like if I had an option, I'm gonna choose to fucking pilot the drone. Like doing the same thing. Right. That's all the class is. The class is a fucking healing drone. That's all it is. <laughs> <laughs> and I try to bring it up to the, 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 the... This is that third party shit. This is why I don't like trusting too much third party shit. Because of dumb shit like that. I bring it up to them. I'm like, could you fix this shit? Because this shit... Like, maybe not... Maybe instead of taking it entirely away, have it with like it costs like double or triple the PowerPoints if you're going to try something like that. Like... Make it where it's really, really fucking taxing. Like, you know, try and pull something like that. So, so, so if they do something like that, they're not going to do like what? Two two or three heals and they're done. So, but none of them could give a valid fucking reason other than, well, you just don't award them extra. You shouldn't have extra. Yeah, get the no fuck out of here with this. That's the one stop me. Right. I would get to a certain point where I, like, I don't care about this. Right. Just, about um, just right. You guys right. won since I helped you. Just bring me back some of the shit. The end. Right. <laughs> oh, you don't hold on. You don't want to bring me back shit. I just won't heal you. You're dead now. Right. Right. I could re I could resurrect you from here actually, but I'm just gonna leave you dead until you agree to give me my treasure. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, Louis, 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 that class really class makes you go. Yeah, I'm never gonna bring up the bios again. This thing gets so mad if I bring it up. Because it's poor ass shitty. Nah, that shit, that shit, that shit breaks the rules of his game. He don't like it. Was so far up their ass about these classes that they didn't want to admit that they fucked up. They rather didn't than, fuck rather up. than be like, yeah, you know. We need to revise this, you know, make it more balanced, you know, for the game. Like, they're like, no. Yeah, it's balanced. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Vitalis isn't the only class that has that uses a psionic network. The fucking, um, it's like two other classes that do it also. The the, the tactician is one. But the tactician is uh, battle-oriented. So let me be the commander of the sphere. He can literally be the commander at the camp and just use his powers through. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah, they have a they have like a so uh, they have like a melee offensive version of the vitalist. It's called a tactician. They use the same fucking thing. They don't need. But he's not around. He don't need to be line, there. They, He doesn't need line of effect to use some of his abilities. If, as long as long as you're connected to the network. The only oh way. The only way your character's broken from the network is if you fucking kill him. That's it. That's it. I'm going to have one of those as my cohort. <laughs> <laughs> that was what I said. I was just telling during the test. I wanted someone to take the vitalist as a cohort. There you go. That's cohort. Crazy. Cohort. Right. Cohort. There you go. That's a way to bypass the X. I was like, y'all taking leadership cohort. Let me get a vitalist too. 
Let me get a vinyl of this. Yeah, and no game levels. It's always two levels below. You know how the game is. You know, PC's got it. The villains got to get it, too. In fact, the villains have a better version of it. So, villains would be like, well, peace, the good guys got it. We got to go find ourselves, like, the unholy version. We're going to have, like, a whole psychic war. Like, who the hell is going to Have it where it's a devitalist. It can do It can do 200 points of damage on an enemy from, like... Hundred miles, or you can just send a side killer after it. And pull it in. <laughs> you go all extra for no reason. Like this thing is going extra when there's a monster specifically to kill Sion. That shit and doesn't try to. It yeah. doesn't take advantage of what's been given to it. There's all of there's all a vitalist type class needs a mind blank type effect or spell, and they can be found. No vision. No divination spell could even discern where the fuck they're hiding at. <laughs> that's it. My, my <laughs> blank. The vital, oh, that's easy for them to get because they could just take, blank, yeah. they could just take the feat expanded knowledge. They could pick a psionic power from another power list. Yeah, that's all they got to do. One feat, and then they get psychic. They get psychic reformation too, which is even better. <laughs> oh, they get that as part of their power list. Look, yeah, this is fucking ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> If Darren if Darren likes the class, it's because of something. <laughs> it was a bad design. They don't want to admit it. And then they're like, "Oh, that's how that was. That's not how we intended it to be used." All right. So then, why did you add that? Why did you add that line that says this doesn't need my effect? Yeah, I have an issue that with that. You put that in there for a reason. You put that in there to say. Your ass could be inside of a fucking vault, fifty feet away in another room, and still be able to use these abilities for their allies. Lewis, it's the same thing as like, let's say somebody casts Force Cage on you, but you could still use all your abilities even though you're inside a Force Cage. Like, what the fuck? Line of effect didn't get cut. <laughs> right. That's basically what it is. It's 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 no different. You could put a Vitalist in a Force Cage. He's fine. He's Perfect. fine. Yeah. Look, look, at, look at Claudius, and he's a freaking high-level spellcaster. You did force cage on him. Ninety-nine percent of his abilities got, you know, right. he couldn't use there's, besides there's that one very, spell that he has. There's very, 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 very limited, little, very low. Not that many spells little, that can. Very little yeah. things that can break line of effect. With good effect. I only, I only it's have like, one like telepathy. Spell. Your Rary's telepathic bomb breaks line of effect because you're telepathically talking. You can ignore that. Oh, that vampire gaze or oh, gaze spells. That's about it. Because they're looking at your eyes, pretty much. Gaze. Oh, gaze. Yeah, yeah, but, but besi yeah, but besides that, though, line of effect is it's like the equalizer. You know, like, as long as you're, like, right. behind a wall or something, you're good. It's, like, it's, like, it's, to stop people, it's to basically to stop people from... Of, all right, I'm I'm on the I'm the I'm on the other side of a twenty foot thick wall. Let me just sit here and summon monsters on the other side of the wall. Yeah, the wall. I, you, I yeah. don't even need to see you. I'll just keep casting right. monster fucking eight. That it? Oh nine. my god, Claudius! Yeah, right. Claudius would exploit that. Wall of Lewis, wall of force, and just summon and just fire things through it. Fireball somehow and all that. Right. Let me through a wall of force. Myself and then just throw fireball, lightning. Fireballs all day long. Yeah. Shit. Yeah, nah, man. <laughs> Howard sleep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like, no. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Technically, you can still do that. You could force cage yourself to do that, but you got to use the one with the um. With the window open. Bars, but then they could do something to you. So it's well, then they could do something to you too, points. right? Yep. But um, what you really should do is you should, you should think like whaling and be like, why do I want to be in two places at once? <laughs> Why do I just leave my real body at home and then send a fake body up there to heal with? So that if I get a body and I die, I just go back to my real body, be like, oh well, and resurrect the party after that. So I survive. <laughs> That's a fair way of doing it. Because now you allowed like the game to still progress with you either succeeding or failing. <laughs> Plus, the simulacrum is weaker than you anyway, so it's yeah, it's, it's got it. It's got its bounce effect. Right. That's the way I would go about it. Because. But, uh, All right, let's go with Sino. Continue with Sino. Well, I, I mean, they they made their decision. They're going to wound death. I don't know when. 
Mm. Should we do it? Are you guys waiting? Like, is anybody like? Should we do it before or after the horde? Is anybody waiting for Metsua or is anybody doing something? Yeah. Let them do their thing, bro. Let them do their thing. I thought, I thought we wanted to get like the city. You know, people to start working on rebuilding it, and then once that's going. The one says, that's, that's okay. 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 Major right to the decide to retaliate, and if they retaliate, well, I mean, if like Delaney and Zion are, are by themselves, they can easily be scryed on and then attacked by the bill. Oh, that's something. That's something your character needs to consider. Is um, you split up how. Before we split up, Cynthia would like to recast Hero Speech on everyone. Recast Sacred Item on Blade and Shield, Troy's as well. Mitzwa's hand wraps. Don't roll. <laughs> <laughs> no way. I don't think we're gonna get come on. I, I mean I guess you can never be too safe. Um I could uh, um I'm um uh, I'm probably spying to throw up heroes feast again for everybody that has to spell. Your character's got the, the intelligence and the wisdom, plenty of it. Yeah, but it goes it goes it goes both ways. It goes both ways. We have names now, so Claude is gonna be scrying himself also. So I'm gonna be doing intel on them as well. So I I think I think I thought you uh who's interrogating IKEA? That's what you guys are doing first. Yeah, I don't think you would have to do that. He's the one with the social skills. I turn into right one. <laughs> All right. So what? What's the, what's the so I, I wouldn't be able to go there myself. I wouldn't need the plane ship. So oh, you put Ike out in the demi plane also, and you got a hold of him again. Mm -hmm. There's nowhere else to put him. Well, who's that? Well, who's then, that? If putting him in there wouldn't it make sense to interrogate him first before throwing him in there. Yeah, but we didn't we didn't have the questions until after we came back just now. Yeah, we shouldn't throw him in there. You should, you know, Orbis. No, Orbis is dead. Killed himself. That KL, you left it cold. We didn't kill no. Orbis, did we? No, we had to do no, something Orbis with committed IKL. suicide. So no, we specifically say we're taking high and throwing him in there. Also, because we do the war. Killed have been Orbis. Orbis killed himself. Well, he didn't kill himself before you could, so you just did we do. <laughs> no, Orbis, when Orbis was a threat, Cynthia couldn't even make, um, couldn't even make, uh, a Demi Pain. She didn't stop being able to make Demi Pains until last level. Right. So, prior to now, the Duke and Blue Duke. Well, yeah, she been, never did get a chance to throw right. Ike out of Blue, Blue Duke was. Blue All right, Duke so if they're going to throw him in now, why not interrogate him before you throw him in there? Who, a kill? You don't need to go into the dairy plane. You because, done it yet. because Cynthia, Cynthia built the plane, started building the dairy planes, but she just got to the level she's at. Not now, but last level. Right, 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 right. Uh, so that was basically right after the fight with. It was right after trying to. Uh, it was after the attack with Paul. Mm -hmm. So in between then, I mean, she wouldn't just be like, all right, let's leave and go. To the fiery sanctum. No, you guys went to the fiery sanctum like a month later. Right. So in between that time, while she was starting to build the portals that and stuff, that's when we threw him in. That's when we threw him in. So we would have to go. We would have to go into the prison. It's not a big deal. I mean, we have. No, I know. I'm just saying. Yeah, specify. To me, I he's still in the. <laughs> he was in Colton's prison. Uh. uh I think your characters forgot about it entirely. The only thing you're saying I did. Orbis. No, we didn't talk about Orbis. Orbis was killed himself. We were, we didn't, we were trying to make a full claim for Orbis. I just knew I had to make two demi planes because there were two prisoners that were on a counter. I meant before he killed 
I don't remember. So read it up. Sorry, before he comes up, you had planned what to do with the gun. With all these two men. So to me, I'm like, oh, they're throwing those two. Well, maybe because guess. you weren't mentioned in IKEA. Because that wasn't my job to keep track of. I, I mean, I did keep track of it. It wasn't my job to remind anybody. Well, that doesn't make any sense because you still represent the city. Who, so me? If, yeah, you represent the culture itself. If so the PCs, Coldren, I was. If the PCs forgot about, I can see. To me, it's impossible. What I'm saying is, it's impossible for the PCs to forget about them because Cauldron is sitting there saying, "What the fuck are we supposed to do with this?" Like, they're asking us what to no, do. No, I so okay. Would have to, you, would I'm have saying to from it. my point of view, when you guys didn't choose to put IKL in there, also, I thought that was a willing, knowing choice. I didn't know everybody forgot about it. No, it was because you did not mention. You didn't play the part of the city. In regards to him, the only thing that that we heard from you, as far as the city was concerned, was, well, what are we supposed to do with Orbis, and what is what are we supposed to do with Orbis? Orbis, Orbis, we, says, Orbis, says, we says, took to the pillar of soul. You guys, the same you, thing happened with Korriban. Like, whenever, whenever, whenever Cauldron goes, what do you do? What are we supposed to do with these people? That's when we respond. But if Cauldron doesn't say anything, we're assuming that Cauldron is taking care of. It. Right. Right. So Colgan didn't say anything about IKEA, so no. we assume Colgan took care of IKEA. Okay. They did. They left them in the south. They didn't execute them. Okay. Well, they, they, put a, they didn't give him his punishment. So they, put a, they put a high cleric in a regular cell? That's what I was saying. No, they put, yeah, they put him in a cell, but he had he was bound and gagged. And he can't cast anything. He was completely stripped. What are you going to do? Well, he got followers that could come back. <laughs> And bail him out. No, you guys took care of followers. Not all the followers were on his, were on his side anyway. They, they they didn't know that him and, and Emberl, which is who's the high priest, were like in cahoots with the fucking Hadrian. They had no idea. Mm -hmm. Many of the followers were completely clueless what was going on. They were just doing their job, which was keeping records of the dead and and and, and then helping with burials and funerals. If the city took care of him, then that means we have to go to no, no. their jail and Cauldron and deal with him. Assuming his jail cell didn't blow up. No, we went over this. Assume. Remember this last session? He was found. Well, doesn't that nigga have all his spells back? He was, he, he was found, but I don't count. He can't get out of there? Oh, yeah. All, the, all cleric has to do is pray, right? Get all the spell back? He has to pray on a specific time of the day. Get the magic back, but I don't think he's going to cast it. Use an action point to get the steel spell feet. Actually, no, spell. they've been going. Actually, uh, <laughs> no, they already know that. Jurgle the priests, they get their spells in dust, so they just come in and, and, and mess with them all during the entire hour of dust. <laughs> so he couldn't get his magic back. Like was Jenya told him that. Jenya was like, he's a priest. He's going to pray at a certain time. He's going to be able to get his magic back. Keep him bound. Keep him gagged. And when it's time, it's time to pray, they'll let him pray. Mm, except for this one guy that's going to feel bad. And they're like, God. Jenya pretty, Jenya pretty much just told, told the fucking authorities to harass the fuck out of him while during his prayer time. Make sure he doesn't get his back. That works. Uh, what is Cynthia? Cynthia works. You know, the lay number of clerics of Omega. I think they get theirs at dawn. Every dawn. They got it every dawn. It's the only time they get it. It's either dawn or noon or, or, or dusk or night or midnight. There's like six different things. It depends on the night. <laughs> they like, I think Cyrix is like the night. Charge and I think charge is just but, uh, in any case. So you go to Akiao and you just see him looking broken, defeated. <sighs> well, play themselves forward. I suppose, um, 
Your stay here hasn't been the most peaceful. Okay. He asked me to speak with him, and he assured us in. I walked the door, and I never told you to I don't want to take it too much of time. We're looking for the cage run. We're looking for their hideout that they're located. As for your motivation on why you should help me, well, as far as the only thing you could do at this point right now would be your freedom. And I could negotiate on um, bettering your stay here. Make it more comfortable for you. Maybe talking them out of that. Thank you guys for telling me your name. She doesn't want to tell me your name. Which I'm sure you must imagine. With the limited resources the city has right now, that they do not have the resources to keep you fed, gagged, and monitored. So at some point, you're going to become more of a liability and you're going to have to do something about that. So, let's tell you, Ikea. Get oh, this guy. <laughs> I don't fuck. Oh. Oh, fuck yourself. <laughs> it's a 25 total. 27. You get plus 25, don't you? This is plus 23. Oh. I'm looking at the AC plus 3. Holy shit. Yeah. So it's 25 total. 25 total. You go fuck yourself. Get my face. I feel like a man that grabbed my throat slamming against the wall trying to get some reach in his bed. Come on, Lewis, let's go. Let's do it. <laughs> well, he changed his, uh, he changed his attitude to indifferent, which is just what you need to make a request. So, uh, Give me another roll. All right. 11 plus 23, 34. I requested to give some pretty dangerous aid. So, it looked like It looked like he wasn't gonna. He looked like he was gonna just be vindictive and just not do anything at all. But it sucks that it's gonna be his side. Uh, the fact that you're here, it only means. Planned things. Dead. Plan failed. Ambrose is abandoning me. Uh, this you just. You shouldn't feel any better. I was, you witnessed a cage right abandon another full fledged member of the cage rights. So obviously. Apprentices yeah. wouldn't be treated any differently. I can't get this out of my head. And you staring at me with that eye is so unnerving. I feel this burning sensation boiling in my mind like, like I'm in multiple places at once. And boiling in the abyss at the same time. It's, it's so maddening. Shakes his head. 
is um I don't know what these visions mean other than I know it has to do with this demon prince that some of the members started talking about more and more. It was all confusing. I didn't really think too much on it. That stuff didn't make sense. There's more going on. I believe it has to do with this demon lord known as Addy Marcus. There's a central meeting spot that all the all the cage right leaders have, but they don't bring their apprentices. The best I can give you is what information I have on every single volume. Drop, drop that. Drop that. That's Wall Street. It's all black. Of course, it's black. He's right there. Dark skin, my nigga. <laughs> well, I mean, now you can't see me, but if I move forward, I emerge from the shadows. <laughs> you see how I'm right here? You can't see me, nigga. I'm from the shadows. I'm here. 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 i i Maybe it'd be enough information for me to learn more. Some of them are pretty secretive. Some of them I don't know exactly their entire background, but I can give you that much. I give you that and you do what you will with it. Just leave me out of it. Leave me to my fate. If it's death, then so be it. I'm not afraid of it. So he's like, you might want to get a scribe for this one. Yeah, he's off behind the table. <laughs> no paper needed. Let's go top of it. Let's fly this place. Look. Well, he starts to eat out all the names. What he knows that they can do. He basically gives up out enough information for Cynthia to like research and actually make the shit. So from, from here, I could do like knowledge, knowledge local checks, now. Knowledge local. Knowledge histories if they're old. Fuck. But yeah. So basically, gave you. Stuff. But he, he, he but, but, yeah, I gave you leads, but that's for like. As for like where, because he tells you the fire sanctum was ne- was was a meeting place, but that was it was only a meeting place because that was where the ritual was to take place. But that wasn't like the headquarters. But he was never the apprentices aren't taken. It's just the rules. He is never told there. For liability reasons, the apprentices were never told where the headquarters were. And they were threatened if they ever did find out they would no longer be apprentices and be dead. Security is pretty much. Now we have a name. We can try to scroll out. Let's see what they have 13 names. So. <laughs> now we can try and scry on them. Yep. Yeah. We can try scrying on Lady's real body, too. Yep. Yeah. Try scrying. Did they say that out loud or not? No, no, no. I was going to say, this try scrying, but they protect themselves from that shit, too. In my head, I was saying, I was saying that over the telepathic bar, like we could try and track down Lady Rio Body too. If she remember, she's still out there. She, she is. She's an apprentice, also. Right. Rio Body. Yeah, he tells you who the apprentices are. Also. Like a snitch and like a mafia. More than thirteen names. It's thirteen, eight, thirteen. You should. Why, why don't you got some on this? He was number eighteen, but seventeen. Names. 13 are cage riders. The other four are apprentices. Is there any member of the full, of the cage right, a full member, that's not a spellcaster? 
Why you always interested in stuff like that? Like, yeah, who's the rhino? That's not a spellcaster. Well, besides, right. besides Gao. Besides, besides the guy that we have trapped in an empress or yeah. Besides her. Madam Gao. Madam Gao. Madam Besides her. Uh, there's, well, there's, there's an RF web monk. <laughs> Tattoo monk. Is that the monk that we are dead, right? Fuck, she dead? Her. Or a lie? Yeah, we don't know if she's dead. You have to scry. We know I put her in a dressing she room. She dumped her down there in that place before we teleported. That bitch is dead, so. We don't know if she's dead. No! Benzimar killed her. No, I didn't kill her. Thanks for messing with she's dead. She was down. She was down when the place blew up. So now that she's definitely in that group. Um, I don't know, I don't know if she's down. I put her in a dresser drawer. He's to die. Dead. <laughs> what is this? Fucking <laughs> Indiana Jones 4? Half, half, half finished business. <laughs> he like folded her up and was like, here you go. <laughs> He's going to put her underneath the table. This guy said I put her in a drawer. Like, He's going to put her in a dresser. Yeah, what if that was like a plus 10 dresser? What if that was like a plus 10 like dresser? That <laughs> was like a plus one. What the hell are the bonus? Please let me know how that's about the volcanic explosion. What is that? Volcanic explosion is busy. Yo. This like, that's what I'm saying. He, he, he like, I put her body in a dresser wow, drawer. We're like, all mind. right. <laughs> fucking lava could melt. Adamantine. So I don't even know. <laughs> what if we got a funny community? What if the drawer is a dresser of fire? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Anyway, um, besides, only reason. Only reason. The monk and the barbarian, you got Newland. <laughs> you got Newland Weed Your Own. Who's, who's, the, who's the primary assassin? They're the it's the, the Slayer. You guys met him already, the little air yeah, meth. Yeah, he doesn't. He's not a spellcaster either, but he's like the top assassin. He's like the assassin for the group. Got it. All right, he will be a good candidate to try and scry on. I mean, not saying that he don't have a magical item. Well, that's uh, be at the same might, he seems to be uh, right next to that's what I was thinking. Yeah, <laughs> but less magically inclined might have less protection against scrying effect. Um, and there's one other. Then there's another that doesn't cast spells. But they 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 create. Um, this is a person's name is Zokek. It's a it's a strange fey creature from the Shadow Realm known as a Shadow Kai. They this this guy can create uh, weapons with his mind. Mm, okay. Soul knife. Soul knife. Yeah. I was gonna say that Louis, you love soul knives. So every time you can make a villain, I think it's a soul knife. <laughs> I made a fucking sigh on a ray. What is it, a lithid? Oh, you, you like so nice. You like a so nice. Yeah, that lithid. That was. Yeah, I made that fucking lithid. It was a blaster. Was he like, like a wilder? Crystal shards ripping everything to shreds and it's radiant. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember when I was, he was doing a lot that. Of he was a wilder, it seemed like. It was a wilder, yeah. Yeah, he was doing a lot of damage. Yeah, he fucked up. He fucked me up. I know that. I remember that. He knocked you unconscious, right? Nah, he did not go in conscious. That's it. Hit me hard. Alarian, yeah. He did. I think he fucked that with the shit. Too. Nah, he hit me with a lot of damage. It was like massive damage. I almost died. Like one hit. Man, fucking psionic crystal, fucking short. You can do that shit now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what he hit you with. I gotta find his stats. I gotta see what he had. Nah, I remember what it was. It was fucking um. The fuck That's is that power. fucking spell that every old sign has? No, he augmented it to like mad high. What's, what's the regular spell? Like mind blast, but he augmented it in the shit. He used a wilder, because he's a wilder, so. Yeah, I remember he augmented the shit, and it was like mad high, and he hit me with it, and I lost my life. Mm. 
Darren knows his psionic collapse. Yeah, I know. I, I, never, I never forgot that mind blast. I was like, this motherfucker didn't go to mind blast. Oh, Lord, I'm going to tell you, I hate junk rap. It's fucking faggot ass. What the fuck is this? It wasn't chapter. Was it chapter six? Yeah, it was chapter six. Well, good job, Valeno. That means that now we could do to them what they've been doing to us this whole entire freaking adventure path. Scry on their asses. Each one. Spells to give them bad dreams and shit, so they know we come. Yeah. Well, I mean, considering how Claudius can check himself from scrying, not detection, all that. Yeah, Claudius got mind blank now, guys. So he can freaking. They don't know where the they fuck Claudius is. The same thing. Uh, well, assuming they're high level to be able to do mind blank, right? Attempt it and see which ones might not have it. Which ones might? Have it. Yep. He, Claude, Claude is gonna try first with the non spellcaster, obviously. So cut and the other person. Yeah. Yeah. Because getting a magic item that oh, mimics damn, mind. That was chapter seven. That was soul to the quest. Yeah, Mur- 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 Chapter Ryan. seven. Oh, it wasn't a lizard. Was it? He? No, yeah. I remember the lizard was trying. To- it was a gold dwarf wilder, but he was a flare spawn psychic. So he was um he had a uh, he was part of lifted. He was like growing the lift. He had like a lifted tentacles and ugly ass one. Yeah. Yeah, he had like a lift, like abilities. That's why I thought it was a lift. It wasn't. It was a lift touch. They had um. Oh, he used. Wait, to see that psychic woman. Oh, he used mind thrusting. Yeah, I told you what it was, nigga. I know. I know what the, I know what the abilities are. So it comes with signs. I don't ever he forget. Had, uh, Crystalline aura. That was the aura that he had. Uh, with Mathras, and he like rolled the fucking the augment and the critted and did mad damage. That shit could kill you. And like, oh, and he had concussive onslaught. He has a yeah. mind stone. So Cynthia, uh, Cynthia warns Claudia it's about the spell known as Seer's Bane. It's a prayer that once cast will damage you. Try to use scrying magic on it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's like if I have access to it, they probably do it. Especially um IKL's uh IKL's master because she's a big What spell is that? Sears Bane. Sears Bane. Oh, that's a Function, damn, it functions detection and how, they take how, damage. How does that work? Like, fails. Eric can have access to, like, every spell? Yeah. Huh? That's a lot of damage. There's a lot of damage. That's why Cynthia warns Claudius about it. So if you do, if you do, <laughs> <you're> <laughs> <out> there, <laughs> yeah, well, you what's going on? That's so funny. That was fun. Everyone that. heard of before. I mean, she'd bring that up. She'd be like, listen, here's the magic I have access to that they can do. Hey, what, what, what is it called? Sears? Sears what? what? I don't find it. It's Sears Bane. And it's oh, Sears Bane. And, it, and, yeah, and it lasts a long, and she tells you it's a very long lasting prayer. It lasts, it lasts based on hours. So if she, if you have someone as powerful as IKL's. Um, Breaking the Bones of Hell. That's the name of the book that spells from. What the fuck? If you have, if you have, Breaking the bulls don't fail. <laughs> if you have, it's uh, a Pathfinder adventure. It's an adventure book. Yeah. If, you have, if you have someone like Ikeo's master, whose who's faith in her god is stronger than mine right now, and she could cast that on anyone in the last hours, she could extend that into days if she wanted to. <sighs> so you should be careful. If you go and you try to do this, know that that's possible. Well, it says I have to beat their caster level. Claudius probably has a higher caster level than most of them. All right. They're cage rights, though. Remember that. <laughs> they're cage rights. Madam Gao is higher level than us by herself. Well, it's true they're cage rights, but remember that they probably don't got as much high level in the actual class like we do. Because they're freaking all these weird monsters and shit. Yeah, you never know. Lewis could just judge some things. Feels like it. Uh, um, uh, well, that's true, too. Unless they're like level 30, 26 or 30, then we don't know that. You know, but well, 
But we don't know that. Cynthia though. just gives you the information. You, you, you're smarter than her, so she expects that maybe you know something she doesn't know. But she just uh, hold on. That, um, that that understanding of what uh, at least yeah. the clerks were able to. Do. Yeah. Claudius goes like, oh, thanks. I wasn't aware of such a spell. And uh, hold on a second, Louis. Time out. So all clerics, any spell that just comes out that's in the cleric spell list, every cleric, no matter what faith they are, they have it? They have access to it? No, no. It depends on what faith they are because they're excluded by, by certain... Yeah, that, may, that makes cleric very godlike. Because any like spells that comes out, boom, you have access could, to it. But some DMs have it where like clerics have to still... Some games have it with clerics. Because that sounds like a new spell. If like, what if the? If it's a new spell, they want the cleric to, like, research it. And there are, like, and clerics can research individual spells, and then, and then it spreads to the rest of their faith. And sometimes spells, I've read instances where they said, oh, this cleric spell was developed by this church, but now every church can use it. <laughs> I've seen that a few times. It was like, oh, this was developed by the church of, uh, <coughs> Uh, let me think of a god. This was developed by the Church of. There's a, there's a few uh, Tor, spells uh, like that. There's, just, there's a few light spells the, that came from the Church of Lathander. That church, yeah, the Church of Lathander, but any any good deity that you know could could. Uh, oh wait, right. well that's a, that's an easy way to make you immune from the spell, um, Cynthia. Well, Cla you know, Claudius, like he looks into that spell that Cynthia brought up, and then it sees that the. That the effect, the negative effect that could, um, you know, the the magical feedback that could affect on a spell casting, it does electrical damage. So, simply put, if I were to cast some sort of um electrical, yeah, spell, yeah exactly. If you need me to electricity, then there's be no careful. feedback. Cynthia brings up, and what about metamagics? What if, what if the spell particularly was cast instead of doing electricity, it does on holy damage? You can change the damage type okay. if you with metamagic. This, this, is, this starts to sound a lot. What if, or this, or that? Any, it could be a multiple possibility. <laughs> it sounds to me like you're giving the DM ideas. I don't think Lewis came up with this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> what if it's an empowered fucking? All right. How about this? How many? How many clerics? How many clerics do they still have in their ranks? How about that? Well, they got that one eye level one. That nigga cheesy, son. That I killed the fucking shame, and I and I don't know if you remember correctly, but I killed casting a fucking what was it? A cast destruction and and killed someone and killed fucking uh, killed um Solari. No, that was just a, a, a traditional player's handbook finger of death. That kills no, the that, that was destruction. He cast a destruction on um I thought it was finger of death. Was it? You're you're probably right. Maybe it was finger of death. I think it was finger of death, man. That he and the reason he died was because this guy, um, what's his name, was controlling him. What's his name? Samuel. And for whatever reason, he chose not to use an action point on his save, even though it's a freaking death. He, he he no, Sam to die. Yeah, Samuels did not use an action point on his save, even though clearly this creature casted a saber of death spell, but Samuels, I don't think out of character knew that it was a dangerous spell like that. So he just assumed that ah, it's fine. Even Dang though Salarin has spell even though Salarin has spellcraft. So he should have rolled spellcraft and then, you know, definitely want to action point it. That's why not everybody could just freaking NPC your character, man. You gotta gotta have the right people playing the character. Thanks. This guy, he, he <laughs> Watson killing that school that time. But I guess at the time we didn't care because Ricky quit anyway, so yeah. No oh, man. This is a good time to be playing clerics nowadays, man. They got so many spells. Clerics are way more versatile than wizards, that's for sure. Because you can find to how much spells you could, you yeah, know. But you, but you can write and make a spell. It's the same thing, bro. Like, I can't write or make a spell. You know how long that shit takes? Especially if you're an active adventurer. That shit would take like months of downtime. When since level one to like our current level 18, we ever had like 
several months. Of that's just this quest, though. It's because this quest is just entertaining. Uh, mo most quests are like that. It's usually very fast paced. Is Lewis there? Whatever. I'm here. Yeah, he's back. What's the... <laughs> What's the... Uh, I'm telling Watson to stop giving you ideas. Who, oh, me? Yeah. All this anti-scrying spells. I don't need any. I already got safeguards in my head. <laughs> anti-scrying this and feedback and on, contingency. What was that? Contingency, contingency like, made a magic feat. Let me switch the electricity down. for... Sonic damage. Shit, like, shit, if I don't know it, I go online. I look around, I ask all the DMs. I'm like, so, what do you do about this? <laughs> I'm like, oh, this is this spell that the villains can use. You can use the raw thing. Even though, but, oh, no, fucking bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. Sure. If the heroes have access to it, yeah. they're enemies. <laughs> I'm not just any enemy. A you know, strong enemy is going to want to counter. Yeah, That's how they stayed strong. <laughs> if just anybody who's 18 level could bust open their, you know, their shop and like you know, <laughs> just bust open their shop, <laughs> then they're not really a good villain, were they? They got to, they got three twenty levels from them. <laughs> well. Don't all your NPCs get free levels? So it seems right. on the spot. No, they all got to come with histories and a background. Okay. Um, Which is now something I got to write. Let's add a mark. Let's add a mark. Yeah, there's plenty spread. of info to like research them. Now you got to make sure the info's there. <laughs> <laughs> right. I got to make sure the fucking information's there. I mean, he gave her he gave her names and, and a little bit about them so that she she can go to the libraries and go to like and use her divine magic and do her research to find out more as much as she can in the time that they got. So. We got a legend on. He's in contact on contact entity three at least. Contact entity? You trying to summon Cthulhu? What the fuck? No, what? I'm not summoning him, but you get to ask questions. Contact yeah, other planes. Like you're obscure. asking? Yeah, you ask, You know. <laughs> it says you ask very powerful elders entities to find and converse with you, or they may reply telepathically. They're probably gonna give me obscure bullshit, but at least us get something. It's bad enough. But I was gonna start using some fucking information what spells. What book was like this that. in? Yeah, contact spell. What book was this? Contact this shit's from a horror adventures. This shit context. <laughs> Fucking clerics are cheesy as hell, so. <laughs> They got like every spell in the game, so. <laughs> you don't want to cat this. Some context spells are evil. Uh oh. Well, you don't have to talk to evil entities. <laughs> That's true. Well, it's always looking for that loop, the spells, son. The spells were developed by those who were trying to contact Elder. Elemental uh, evil. Um, creatures from the uh, crafting of Minecraft. Well, I know there's one spell called Contact Other Planet. Contact something. A few nuances. First, not all other creatures have a correlating contact spell. Contact spells do not replace a supplant plane or ally or plane of binding. So each contact spell targets an elder creature that is not an outsider. Contact entity spells might be useful for contacting other specific types of creatures that aren't listed at the gene's discretion and could be adapted for contacting certain outsiders. There you go. Exactly. It's recommended that contact entity spells should be discovered in actual play rather than granted to PCs to no advantage. <laughs> They represent, they represent ancient knowledge lost to most spellcasting traditions, usually found in the form of scrolls or spell trigger items. An individual contact entity spell comes predetermined to work for a single kind of system, with the appropriate material component already expended. Copying the spell to a spell book from such a scroll doesn't let the caster know how to contact other creatures with the spell. Though the class lists with these spells include spontaneous casters. This is primarily let them use the spell if found on the scroll, not to have unfettered access to the contact entity of the spell. Some of them, 
Most contact spells are evil, but many lower level contact spells are not. This is because certain Elder Mythos creatures are distinctly alien, but not necessarily morally evil. There's also a witch tradition of spellcasters who traffic with dangerous creatures with the best of intentions, while actively summoning them onto the material plane of evil, merely speaking with them is not necessarily so. Each intelligent creature in the spell's area takes one to six points of wisdom damage as their perceptions of reality realign with yours for the spell's duration. Listeners with at least five hit die can will save from the case of effect. Your target views you with a friendly attitude and respond to criticism of you with irritation. Yeah, these spells are for like contacting alien, alien entities that don't belong in this reality. But can they provide the information? Well, yeah. <laughs> this guy matched. I just want information. <laughs> you may know some shit that can help. This shit, if your campaign uses the sanity system, your sanity support decreases by two. Oh to my take god. And drain. Yeah, are you sure you want to? <laughs> I don't know about all that, so I ain't trying to go crazy. That's what they mean by it. We'll try the traditional, you know, scrying at first. <laughs> well, it's not, yeah. She doesn't, she doesn't even have oh, any spell technique. Wait, wait, wait a cool. second. Wait a second. Casting the scrying, yeah, it could cause effect or whatever. But what about casting scrying from a magical item? From the Temple me, of Soul. I would have been trying Remember to the Black before. Ice? There's a magical item there that you could do scrying? Same, Same thing? thing? You're, you're still the user. You're still the user. But in the black but in the black ice you can see what's being scryed on, right? And the black ice like everyone else. So after you summon scrying, but you will still be the scryer. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, but I, Claudius could can Claudius just well Claudius will summon a creature. You got a crystal ball, you tried it, it's still gonna affect you. Well, Claudius could summon a creature that could use the magical item. He'll use it. <laughs> and <laughs> there you go. And if something if something happens, then the summon creatures die. There you go. So we'll, we'll remember that bard that I used to um, summon the extra planner bard that sings that bard. Yeah, we'll call that dude to use that scrying device, and you know. There you go. You remember the time that when everybody was afraid, fearful, and then he was singing a tune to make pe to calm emotions? That was when we were fighting that dritch, that that lich dragon. I think I don't know if it was that fight. What you summon? Yeah, I summoned a creature that fight. It was an extra planner. No, what was it called? Man, I don't know. I I could research. I, I could try and find out what it was. Let me see. It's a Pathfinder type. A bard. I was like, you summon bards. What the fuck? Yeah, summon a bard. It was an extra planar. No, I know, but I, let me see. I, that's not the name of the boss, but the creature. Though. I know, I know. I'll, I'll, I'll figure it out. Hold on, let me see. Not a hound or a chon. Hey, what the hell was it? What about this one, Lewis? Bro. Bro. Prognostication. It's a six level. So you glimpse the future. Functions of divination. So the spell can see up to a year and a day into the future. Because of the increased unpredictability of the distance future, prognostication is specifically more cryptic than the already cryptic divination spell. So can I cast that, Lewis? That's a spell? Yeah. It, the casting time is eight hours, my dude. Which spell is that? Prognostication. I need rare incense and tonics for 250 GP. And I'll be able to cast this spell eight hours. What's it from? What does it say? It says, it's from Paizo. It's from the Paizo spell. Oh, here it is, Lewis the Creature. It's an Asata Lilin. Yeah, I couldn't find it. Ultimate intrigue. Glimpse the future. That shit is cool as fuck. A year and a day into the future, Sasha. A year and a day because of the increased concrete of the significantly more cryptic. Right. 
And I'll go ready I'll cryptic go. divination. I don't care. It's cool as shit. I don't give a shit if I don't understand it. I just want to be able to fucking be like, I saw it. Yeah, that's it. You'll get something and you'll be like, this shit makes no sense. And then it happens. You're like, fuck. That, that makes, makes sense. sense. Yo, 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 Lewis, let's do it, son. Let's go, son. See you to the future. Be like, I saw it. Wasn't that creature, Lewis? I think I saw it before. Oh, you lost a oh, Lily. Okay. I yeah. It, it has like bardic ability. That creature too, because I'm sitting here like, there's only one outsider I know that's barbed bite. There's like snake. They like the winged snake woman. Similar to Orgree, but more powerful. Just provides you with a useful piece of advice and reply to a question concerning a specific course event or activity. So what's her? What's the question? Mm. The advice can be as simple as short. What? What? What, what, what are things you're doing? If we scribe on what's that dude's name again? The uh. You could do that with a regular assassin. divination. <laughs> the assassin. No, because I want to be able to glimpse. I want to see the future of the happening. I want to see. I want you to describe to me what a, a year, a day in the future would look like. It's not like I just. It's not like words come out to me and they say something. Like I get a glimpse of something. What they say. It's cryptic, but I get to see something. So I want to know what happens if we. Uh, if we scry on the assassin for the uh, case, the year. Oh, I see what you're doing. You're trying to get some intel. Make sure we don't get we don't get, get off. Next out here. So. All right, make sure looking we out. Make, we don't make any mistakes that will cost us. Yeah, we 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 do we mad paranoid, but that's good. Paranoid people stay alive. So you want to see up to a year in a day. The the actions the, of scrying well, on of what would happen on of scrying on one of the cage riders on the on the assassin cage right? the one who's the who's the uh, the ice man. You scry on him. What happens a year in a day? This is cool because Louis has to actually look into what he has planned, pick out the most obscure thing, that <laughs> and then like say it. Because like it'll be stupid if we get to the point of the story that never happened. Then it means that Louis is a liar. <laughs> <laughs> That's God like. So it has to be something, but it's like something we never like get. This is fucking cool. Can we gotta describe this shit, Lewis? Like, what what happens? This fucking Omega come down and fucking opens up the gate of the future for me. I just pair into the future. So I'm like, like, yeah, so dope, son. But Daniel Piper smoking that's a while. You 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 punching down brick walls and shit. <laughs> for that. But a nigga can see it to the future, bro. Fuck with your boy. A year and a day. It's only a year and a day, bro. It's not that serious. Nigga, that's mad times. <laughs> if I can see a year and a day in the future right now, son, on my own life, shit. What spell is that? Prognostication. Is that Pathfinder? Yeah. Take your time, no rush. I want it to be good too, so please take your time. No, you actually did. It, it, it takes eight hours to cast it. Uh, don't even don't, don't even think about it right now. We could do this two, three sessions from now, whatever, bro. This guy. Now when well, it comes to be the dream. Need to... I know what it is. <laughs> they need to know now. Yo, oh, that's what you're saying. Yeah. Isn't happening right away. Aku. Uh... 
Uh, but guys, uh, I could figure out where the headquarters of the cage ride is at also. I could cast another vision spell. Mm. Yeah, I could ask. I could. I could ask. Like, where is this assassin guy dude at now? And then I'll get a vision where he at. And if I get a high enough uh, geography check again, then boom, we could go there and uh, um, you know you get, you visit get, him in person. You get a cryptic phrase. Perseverance is key. Time is key. See, there you go, man. This cryptic shit riddles. In other words, you wasted a spell cast. Time and time spell. again. Until Ambiguous. Until time is no more. Lou's trying to jump up your information. Man. Was that the answer? Perseverance is key? Until perseverance is key. Time and time again until time is no more. <laughs> what the fuck does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> and you have a vision of, of 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 this particular person that you want to describe. And they're face to face with you. But there's blood all over him. But you don't know whose blood it is. Damn. Could be his, could be, could, be, could be your allies. Who's the person? Who's the lady? Perseverance is key time and time again. <laughs> I mean, it's up to a year and a day, so during at least you'll know you'll find the cage rights within the year. <laughs> the thing is, she doesn't know when. So. Is an ice method considered an outsider or no? Yeah. Come on, man, that's planer buying his ass. That assassin. The methling? No, methling yeah. is a native outsider. That's not an outsider, right? It's an outsider. Oh. It's native. Oh, native. Oh, never mind. Damn it. Outsider is something. I want to bind something, man. Outside, yeah. No, bind Valenum. No, he's a native too, right? Yeah, not that. What's everybody doing for a 10 day? For the first 10 days? Yeah. I don't know. I mean, obviously, during, I mean, obviously, you, if your characters want you to level, you gotta put a lot of time into, like, character abilities, too. Not me. Well, except for right. Mesor. Except for Mesor. <laughs> right. Mesor is doing his uh, training in the spiritual world. This yeah, exactly. He's in a hyperbolic time chamber right now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. He's over there meditating like Jiren. He's in the third dimension. Yeah, oh, we bring out Jiren. You don't know about Jiren. Yes, we do. We caught up. Oh, you caught up? Yeah, we caught up. Damn, son. Well, Cynthia cast Forbiddance on the Temple of Ultra Instinct. I know, right? The Temple of the Iron Martyr. And this clause is helpful for some permanents trying to put some wards up so people can't just teleport in and out and shit. Um. Teleport. That's what he said. Temple, because the temp, that would that would ward out evil. That's why she wants forbidden. I thought it blocks out teleportation. Also, I'm it thinking the wrong spell. It blocks planar travel and the damage. Oh, that's what it's different Yeah. Alignment. yeah. So she fortifies the temple. That. Um. Yeah. 
basically recast the... the Matt called it, too. Because he, apparently he said it happens in GP. I didn't know that. What, what happened to GP? He absorbs the spirit bomb. That happened in a movie, too. Yeah, but he absorbs it, and it's oh, still a little bit. it around. It wasn't like he just absorbed it. He absorbed it. It went into him and why wow, it is like awakened it. Like, yeah, but he didn't have, he didn't have any he didn't have any energy he didn't have any seal. He didn't have any energy left to begin with. He lo- ran out of energy and the spirit bomb was fueling him. That's what it was. Yeah. He was getting by so <laughs> They were mad tight. They were like, what the fuck? We can't even get that easily. I guess the question is, has Anubis gotten it? Anubis? Not Anubis, I'm calling it. Anubis. Anubis said Anubis. <laughs> no, the beard, no, no. If you read, if you read the manga, right? No, no, he is. He's stronger than all of them. If you, yeah, you got to read the manga. In the manga, he fights them all. He has, he has uh, ultra instinct, but it's not perfected. So he was using it, and he was beating all the gods up because they all tried to jump the nigga. And then Why are you fight- animating this shit? Why is this shit in the manga over? No, because the because the manga comes out later than the than the than the fucking show. It's like, it, it annoys me how much better the manga is. Like if you see the the Masu arc, right? In the manga, the nigga makes you know how like the remember in the in the anime it was mad green niggas in the sky? In the manga, it's him. It's just a bunch of clones of him start popping out, and like every time, they like it's like uh, like a hundred of him, like literally standing around fighting Goku and Vegeta. And like, oh, nigga, y'all about to die, and he's like, they're like, yeah, what are we gonna do, yo? And the Goku's like, you know, let me just give one more Zenzu Bean, and then fucking pulls out that thing, and Zeno pops out, and then you see all the fucking the Zamasu's panic, like, oh my god, it's this nigga, we gotta run. And they all start running. And then, yeah, it was actually the monster, like a bunch of them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was a bunch. Of, it was like mad Zamasu. It was like a shitload of them. Yeah, you really like that. That one was way better than my iPhone. That other shit I watched. No, what the fuck is this? Like, yeah, Beerus fighting all the Pretty no, no, yeah, like originally the tournament of power was supposed to be all the gods fighting, and then they said, "All right, well, let's have a preview for the for yeah, our." Because I remember, oh, they did. They I mean, did, yeah, it, was they, a, it was like yeah. three of them fighting each other. Yeah, it was only three, but and originally it was all of them, and you see like their different abilities. Like the elephant nigga has really uh, powerful lungs, right? So like when he screams. Like you see the Kai's pass out, all the Kai's pass out because the scream is so powerful that they nervous us and shut down. And Goku oh couldn't God. move. Oh God, showcase how powerful they were. So you yeah, like they were dead ass fighting, and like, and then the only two standing we're, we're, we're done. We're done for tonight, right, guys? I think so. Yeah, I think we're done. All right. Until next week, man. Later, guys. Right. They wanted Goku to show off the Ultra they Instinct wanted Goku to, to instead of Beerus. Okay. No, but the, but Goku. But uh, so wait, the only two, the only two that were standing up after the game, after it was over, was uh the Rat and Beerus, and he was, and he was like, finally I get to fucking kick your ass, and he said the same thing like I knew you would be standing, can't wait to kick your ass, and then they started, then they went at each other, but then fucking the Angel was like, um. The, Zeno can't see the fight because you guys are moving too fast. Like they can't see it because they, they, they couldn't see it because he was too. They were too powerful for them to see it. So even the the, the, the gods of destruction the move so fast that Zeno can't see it. Couldn't even fucking see their fucking attack. Yeah. So wait, and they were all fucking too. So wait. So then they had they had Goku fighting. The gods are so terrified of him that they because he can erase them. Yeah. Doesn't matter how powerful they are. Yeah, but 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 if he wills it, they're a race. So you could move fast, but if they just immediately will you, if they're fast enough to will you away, then it's over. You're just gone. Plus, we don't know his durability. 
Uh, I mean, they because they would never, they, they would never think to fight him. They might be able to survive their attack and be like, "All right, well, I'll just erase you now." Yeah, so wait, so wait, it gets even better now. Right? Here's where it gets funny because Goku's like, yo, don't cancel it, just make it mortals. I'll fight that guy. So he's talking about um what's the nigga with the big hands again? I forgot his name. Topo? Yeah, Topo, right? So he's like, Alright, I'm gonna fight Topo. So then they fight and then Goku starts with Super Saiyan One and all the gods are like, So what the fuck is that? Like just, he has no power. Like then Zeno is like there you go, Super Saiyan 2, Super Saiyan 3. And he's like, oh my god, Goku has a mean face. That's so cool. And then they're like, then Togo was like, this is the power. And then he went Super Saiyan God. And it was like, oh, he got God key. All right. Then they started fighting. Then Goku goes, oh, uh, Beerus is like, go blue and take him out. All right. He's like, all right, it was nice fighting you. And then nigga, Togo dodged a punch and kicked the nigga in the stomach and he flew out of the ring and lost. What? Yeah, and yeah, and uh, yeah, he lost. He lost that. He's supposed to lose that fight. Oh, in the first match, like the yeah, in the like first the match, he loses. Match? Yeah, Goku lost, and he said, "Yo, I can't believe I lost. Like you're so strong." He's yeah, like, God, and then, mm, and then, and then, and, yeah, he, no, in Super yeah. Saiyan God mode, he lost, and then wait, and then he goes, "I don't know, man." He's like, "I'm not even the strongest in my universe." He's like, "My friend Jiren." He's like, "I have centuries before I become the strongest Jiren." So they established that shit early that Jaren is that nigga. <laughs> Damn, son. He kicked him in the stomach and body the in body in God mode. Mm -hmm. Universe eleven is no fucking joke. <laughs> Universe eleven. Yeah, but they yeah, they made it like the anime doesn't really it's crazy how much I look at the manga and I'm like, why the fuck is the manga so much? Wait, better than manga, I'm not well, I mean, man, manga's always been doing the shit better. It's so different though. It's like I don't think it's so, it's, wait, it's, wait, it's a lot manga, different. Where's the manga where's the story in the manga at now? It's at the where they where they where they where Zeno's meeting the gods for the tournament of power. Like they remember when Goku and Gohan and them were there? It was just Goku there at the time. Well, the tournament of power just started. No, it didn't even start yet. It's like it right it, it you remember Goku versus Tapo when they first that's where it's yeah. at. So the anime is way ahead. Way yeah. ahead. Shit's halfway done already. Right. Yeah, it's halfway done already. <laughs> so the manga's doing what they want to do, but the anime is like doing it differently. Well, they, they no, because the guy who makes Dragon Ball Super told the guy the story and how it's supposed to go, and he just he makes it the way he wants, he writes it the way he wants, but he has to go by his guidelines. Kira Toriyama tells the animators how it's gonna go, but then when he writes it, he writes it the way he wants. Yeah. It came out a lot better the way he did it, though. I'm looking at this shit, like, you can just, you know, like, I YouTube it and watch it on YouTube. Yeah. It's a lot, it's a lot better. Oh, the manga? Yeah, they do that on YouTube. They have people, like, Show the manga pages or something. That's a lot to miss, though. That is. Well, because he said uh, when Goku was fighting, he was switching between red and blue. Yeah. No, he so went to. He went. He, he went, went red first. Vegeta was doing that first with Frieza. Oh yeah, no, nah, yeah, they were doing that when they fought at um when they fought Zamasu. And they were doing that. Yeah, they weren't doing that. Uh, he, he was doing that when he fought Zamasu because red doesn't take as much power up as blue. Oh, so he would he would fight he would fight he would fight him in red. But when he knows he's gonna connect with a when he knows he's gonna connect with a hit, he'll go turn blue so he can get the full maximum power out of it. It was like a strategy he was using. Right, they did that in this tournament. Go But I guess they just didn't want to wait. They didn't want to be like, they didn't want to wait like two years for the manga and then start the anime. Yeah, but I'm telling you, son, the shit if they rewrite the anime to make it like the, the fucking manga, it would be so much better. Like, all you guys gotta do is like, you can look it up on YouTube and you'll see like the difference. And you're like, what the fuck? Like, the story's so much better in the fucking. That's how it was with um. Oh, it feels so rushed, like. What anime was it? That's how it is with uh. With oh, Bleach. Um, 
Oh, well, Bleach was kind of like the same. Alchemist. Full Metal Alchemist, yeah. Full Metal Alchemist Jesus. was that was the worst one. You watch Full so Metal really? the first time around, you're like, Bro. this is really good. Then you watch the second time, you're like, what the fuck? You watch the bro- <laughs> you watch the Full Metal Brotherhood, and you're like, where the fuck was this? This shit was like ten times fucking better. So yeah. I look online and I find out that's because Brotherhood follows the whole manga from beginning to end. The uh, the uh, the original Full Metal Alchemist. Like the first ten episodes follow the manga, and then it goes off and does its own shit. You threw me off because well, like the first... manga never because it was a shonen, so the manga came out every month. So the anime caught up to the to the manga, and it couldn't wait for them because it was a monthly shonen. So they couldn't just put so the, so the rest of like from like episode ten all the way to the end, it's all filler. The entire fucking series was filler, <laughs> except for like the first ten episodes. So then Matt starts watching. I've heard of Brotherhood. I'm like, why? Why would they remake Full Metal? It's so good. I, I was like, ah, I'm not gonna watch it. I already seen it. it's probably the same shit, right? So Matt's watching it, and he comes in. He's like, yo, the animation's way better than this. I'm like, well, yeah, it's newer. So and that's like, I don't know. He's like, the story's the same, but it also feels different too. I'm like, well, why would they change that shit up? I'm like, so I started watching it. And I was like, yo, for some reason, this is turning out better than the other one. I mean, the animation's better, but the storyline, I wonder why. So I looked online, I'm like, wow. Because she finished the manga. The manga was like five chapters from being over when they started the anime. So they already had the whole, they had the whole thing fucking ready to go because she was about, this shit was about to end. So I was like, wait, the manga never finished? This That's whole funny. Whole time I was watching a bootleg fucking <laughs> full metal alchemist. This is some bullshit. Yo, when you get the chance, watch Brotherhood. It's from episode. That's so funny. So, wait, like, like, the first thing I watched was General Armstrong and all that, wasn't yeah, it? it was longer. It was longer it was than the longer. It was, it was The first full metal was like 50 episodes. This one was like 74. And it was, way, the, it was like uh, 10 times fucking better. The fight with fucking Scar and Raph. Yeah. Yo, Every fight scene is fucking... Raph's fucking fight scenes was stupid, dude. Yo, Raph's was fucking Raph's insane. Raph's got like... Everything is starting to make more sense towards the end. Right, a lot of shit, Scar man. Scar yeah. got so much more development. Like, you understood... Like why he did the things he did. I mean, he was cool in the first Pride one. Pride was better. In the first one, he just kind of seemed like this badass. Like, but Yo, now the way shit. the way Mustang took out Lust. Mustang's revenge Yo, on Lust. When like, Mustang so fucking, fucking killed Yo, this. Yeah, it was so deserved. It was so deserved. No, that was the one he kept burning that bitch up. He was like really fucking her up. So you seen Brotherhood then? No, nah, I just watched like no, I was on YouTube oh, you and I was like, YouTube? why is this fight different than I remember? <laughs> That's the original fight. That's how it was in the manga. Didn't Mustang end up blind or some shit though? Nah, he wasn't blind. Nah. Uh, I thought he ended up blind. Mm, was it at the end? Of, was it the was it the first Full Metal and he might have ended up blind? I can't. Is that the end? At the end of this series, nah, he's fine. I don't think he. I don't think anything weird happened. He became the ruler. Hohenheim was fucking godlike. And the final boss made sense too. Wow, like everything was so much better. The villain, the, 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 the greed. Greed was a much compelling character. Like Pride was cheesy as hell. They changed the way Pride was. Sloth. I don't even think you got to see Sloth in the other Full Metal. Nah, you didn't really get to see him do much. You didn't see him. He was fighting. And he was fighting. He was fighting the Armstrong siblings, too. And the character. Yeah, there were characters in there that were, they weren't even the original. Olivia Armstrong. Um, those two chimeras. The two soldiers. Oh, yeah. One was, a, one was a, a gorilla, and the other one was a. Um, the fuck was the other one? So I call him Bebop and Rocksteady because I was. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they reminded me of. One was a gorilla and the other one was a lion. That's what it was. One was like a chimera lion. They would they, I think they started off as like, they started off as uh, they weren't villains. They were just like doing their job, but then they realized then they became good guys. Like. They were 
like soldiers that like were fused with chimeric. They were fused with alchemy to like make them like half breeds, like half chimera. So like they were like like a man gorilla and a man lion, <laughs> fucking hybrids. They weren't like full chimera, like a, like that girl and that dog. <laughs> they kept that shit. That shit was the original. Yo, what was the nigga that had all those little faces that eat everybody? Like, what was that fucking guy? He was like a little kid, but he was, was like that scary was pride, as well. Right? Pride? I think that was Pride. Was that the one that everybody was afraid of? Like, that nigga would just eat no, the strongest that one, was, I think. That was, yeah, because Wrath is, Wrath is fucking the Fuhrer. Wrath's the Fuhrer. He's the leader. So, yeah, I think that was Pride. Was the, was the kid that was wearing like, the black tight shorts. Yeah. The black ass and sharp teeth. It was the Fuhrer. His wife didn't know anything. And they had a their kid, their adopted kid, quote unquote, was actually pride. Yeah. And they had lost sloth. Sloth they awakened. Sloth they found when they awakened. He started tearing shit up. Well, gluttony and yeah, fat. Well, no, pride right. killed gluttony, the one right? That eat, yeah, gluttony's the one that they eat everything. But why did pride kill gluttony? Gluttony was alright. Pride what? Pride was broken, son. Pride was with that fucking. No, Pride killed Gluttony. Like, I think. Tell me, Tan. I know he was like a shadowy he was like creature this, with. He's like, like this, this, this quadrupedal, like, big green dog. And, like, he had that one eye that's like. That was like his final form, because I know he was so shadowy at first. He would, like, have, like. Right, yeah, you're right. He, was he had, like, a silhouette and with, like, a lot of eyes in it. But I guess like the Yeah, that's what I thought he was. I remember the silhouette thing. Greed was greed was cool though. Yeah, but you can fucking I he liked, was the one that, that turned against all of them. That's why I liked him. It's for me. He was the only like one that, that he was the only one that that kind of reformed himself at the end. Mm-hmm. Like, cause he he dis- he was the only one of the homunculus that like discovered like what, what, it what, it means to really what it means to like, live <laughs> and to be whole. Right. Because he so, wanted real life. Like, he didn't want to be... He was greedy. And he knew the one thing he could never have was, like, real life. So, he greed? Like being what he was. Yeah, he couldn't greed. achieve that. He wanted everything. He wanted everything, but he couldn't understand why he so always felt empty. Right. And then they found out at the end. They, he told him at the end, he was like... He was like, what you really wanted was friends. And he's like, I think he's like, now you got them. Because, like, he helped them out a lot. And he, was, he was like, he was like the quarter. He, 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 he was the good. He was the good. He ended up becoming the good homunculi, the only one. Yeah, I think because he's the one that fought. He fought Wrath. And Wrath freed him up. Yeah, um, he did fight Wrath. He fought him in the sewers. Yeah, Wrath was beating the shit out of him. Fucked him up. Him again, I like, when Wrath tried to take back. Remember when Wrath tried Yo, to take back. The fight scenes are so godlike. Remember when Wrath tried to take back the. Uh, Take back um, control of the of the of the main headquarters. Yeah. And he fucking bodied the whole tank, and then he fucking bodied all the soldiers, and then he was riding the fucking elevator into the fucking base, bodying everybody. Yeah. Yeah, I think he he fought he fought him again at the top of that building. And he was bodying him, and what you call it jumped in. I forgot his name, but that one dude that was from like um from like a foreign land. He was like, he was Asian, he had a ponytail. No, it was a little girl. It was, was it two of them? There was a little girl, a little Asian girl that came. She, yeah. She had, she knew, see, that was another character they introduced. They started Eastern Alchemy. Mm-hmm. And she was using alchemy, but her alchemy was different. She, hers came from the East. I, right. forgot, I forgot what made them different, though. There was a dude that came from the East, too. I think she came with another guy. Either like, she that came with him or. Like princess or something. She was someone involved. There was two of them. Mm-hmm. And she met, um, she met, uh, what's the brother's name? Al? Yeah. Alfonso? Al was the one that was, Al's the, the, is the short one. The, the, that's Ed. No, that's Ed. Al was the one in the army. Al, yeah. Al was in the army. She met him and she stuck with him for like a lot of, a lot of the whole series. Full metal. Yeah, fucking rap was fine. I have to watch some of that later tonight, man. Trying to skin black. Yeah, why should that shit? He can like block fucking. That shit was amazing. He makes his skin carbon so that you couldn't cut through it, and somehow he still couldn't fuck with fucking rap. Rap was still bonding him. 
even though he could turn his fucking body hard, his skin hard or whatever. It wasn't helping. I remember his skin would go black and his hand would get but he would use his hands like blades by the fuck him. Oh yeah. Cut this dude. Him this dude dodging it. Oh, there was an old man. Remember the old man that blew himself up? It was three V one, son. It was there was an old man. Oh, there was an old man. There was an old man that That's there was right. old man that jumped. It was old man. It was fucking greed, and it was that dude, that Eastern Alchemist. The three of them were fighting rats at the same time at one point. On top of that, on top of that building at that base, I remember the old man trying to blow himself up, trying to kill himself to try and like kill rat. He held on the rat. He did end up dying. He like he, he like took the slash to that like. He could hold on the rap, like blow rap up or some shit like that. Like, they found out that he was cheesing, he was using his eye to, like, fucking time their movements, and that's why they couldn't beat him. Oh, the rap's eye. Yeah. Because yeah. he, he had that eye patch. Right. Well, he that he eye took patch. that shit off, he was fucking him up. <laughs> and the old guy was like, fuck yeah. you, and did some cheesy shit where he tried to, like, blow himself up. Or he, he did something, some suicide shit. I need to, to look up, like, I need to. Look up on YouTube all the fucking that fight scene was like, godlike. He was fighting all fight the same time. I was like, yo, this shit was like twenty times better than the other bullshit I watched. I was like, what the fuck? And freeing them up still. I was like, Damn. It made it made it made the original look bad. And I liked the Damn, original. For real. The really fucked up part was remember when um when Raph was killing like the fucking the renegade uh um chimeras. And one of them went inside of Al's armor to try and hide from Raph. And then Raph fucking, he did something to paralyze Al. Al couldn't move. He opened up Al's helmet and fucking stuck his sword down to Al. Oh, to kill the I fucking... know which one was the dog. That was Envy. Yeah, Envy. The was Andri- and Envy. The Envy. I don't even know. Who she was a very androgynous character. You couldn't, right. uh, couldn't tell who the she was. Yeah, either. yeah, like long black spiky hair yeah. and a fucking bandana envy. That very feminine face and form, but it was but you couldn't tell. It was very androgynous. Right. Yeah, it was envy, and and then envy was ended up being a a little blob by the time mm-hmm. they were done. Right. I think they had it had them in the or they had it in a jar for a while. And then it got out, and then and then they beat it. it ended up being small again. It ended up like it ended up kill, like dying out. He was he was he was saying something about why it was envious. Oh, that's what it was. It was like because it, it was the out of all the homunculi, envy was the one that really hated him. Yup. And then they and then it ended up becoming a revelation, like. Oh, the only reason you hate humans is because the truth is you envy them. You actually want to be human, but you can't. And that's when it was like, yeah, all right. But I remember fucking the Fuhrer, he killed Al's friend while Al's friend was trying to hide inside of Al's armor. And it was gruesome because you oh, saw yeah. all the blood. Leaking out he of Al's fucking the, he armor. He was hiding in Al's arm, and then he just stabbed through the yeah, armor. Yeah, he, he's just blood. He fucking out opened of up shit. Al's head. For some, and for Al, some reason, Al couldn't move his body. Yeah. I think something happened with like the, the mark, seal? the seal on him, so he couldn't fucking move his body. He opened up the helmet and just stuck his sword straight down. <laughs> I was like, and you yeah. saw all this blood <laughs> fucking no gush out savage. in between fucking Al's armor. But traumatized. The, the fucked up part is, yeah, Al was still conscious for it. So he, but he couldn't move. He was just screaming like, no, no. He was fucking crying all fucked up after the just left him. He did. He was like, he just walked away. I was like, yeah. Fucking fuck anime. I was like, yeah, dead body inside his fucking armor. <laughs> it was a surprise. Yeah. trying to fucking protect him. Yeah, man, watch that shit. That shit was so good. Nobody would take it. I was, like, I was man. Have, that shit ended. I was man. Had a good ending. Everything. Yeah. I was... Very few anime leave me fucking satisfied like that. I was very sad. Cohen Hart was a terrible father. But I'm glad his sons forgave him. But that nigga was terrible. Pretty much. <laughs> his backstory was dope, too. Like, Hell yeah. Yo, everybody go. They didn't even watch that shit. That shit is fucking god. Like, Cohen Hart was fucking dope. Cohen Hart. Got the souls of everybody that ever fucking. 
He was like the Amusi dude. Like, he, had, <laughs> he had everybody's souls like in him. It all started with him and that fucking one incident. Yeah, I was trying to make a 10 day go by in the, in the, in the game already. That's when I want Metzler to wake up. I'm trying to find this spell that I think it's maybe it's too deep. I keep looking at like. I mean, I keep looking at the path by this spell. Maybe it's. It's this spell that turns you back to the path. Let me get some sleep, boys. Right. I'll see you next week. Right, Love you guys, man. Why did Samuel leave the group? Which group? He left the basement boy group.